May their city walls crumble. This man is now Evocato. Wait, 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 what happened? I was I looked away for a minute, what happened? Did I crash? I fucking crashed. Hold. Loading up.
What a beautiful yet creepy piece of music that is. Swan Lake, but um Really I know it from is it nineteen thirty one? Dracula? Is it thirty one? That that they use that theme for Dracula? Was it thirty nine? Might be 31, I don't remember. With Bella Lugosi. <clears throat> how you doing today, guys? How you doing? How you doing? Thank you so much, Vinny. Coming in with five gifted subs right as the stream started, man. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Vinny. I just want to apologize, by the way, guys. I know my last few streams, I've been kind of, Found um... Rust. Thanks for introducing me to Wild Oh, Archie. Sadistic Intent. Thank you for the five months, dude. I'm getting a little lag spikes in Wild. I'm hoping that <clears throat> it clears up. <clears throat> Ballistic is here, too, as well as Vinny. Coming with a big 40-month resub. Thank you, Ballistic. Salty Natty. Thank you. Or Natey. Thank you for the two months. A Parker. Thank you for the six months. And Dash Rave. Thank you for 15. I want to apologize <clears throat> for, um... The last couple streams, I've kind of been low energy. Um, I, w I went over this the other day, but I'm having some like sleeping and just overall energy issues. I'm just tired all the time, yet I can't sleep. I try to sleep, but I can't. I wake up early in the fucking morning, like 1 a.m., 12 a.m. I can't get back to sleep. Um... It's been a struggle, and it, it has been affecting my streams a little bit. I haven't been streaming for as long. Harley Quinn Cush, 79 months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just want to, I just want to, I just want to say, I am going to see a doctor on the first. Take care of yourself, less than three. Thank you. Thank you so much, Harley. Appreciate the 79 months. Uh, I, I, I'm seeing a doctor uh, on the first. I've made an appointment, and I'm hoping I can get this issue sorted out sooner rather than later um i can get back to streaming uh, longer hours i just want to i just want to say um during this period of time where i'm struggling a little bit i just want to thank you guys for you know sticking around um and, and supporting the channel i know i haven't been streaming the uh longest time times uh recently um so i do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me um just being in the stream of course um People at resub, people, new subs, gifted subs, all that. You guys are amazing. And you're, you're really carrying me at the moment. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, next month I can get back to it and then uh, maybe even do it like a subathon or something. But uh, much love, guys. I do appreciate that. Um, we're doing Wallaby today. I know people were thinking I was going to do Boyd. Uh, Boyd is not going to be back probably for another... <sighs> Honestly, I think... I think... I wouldn't be comfortable bringing him back for at least another week. I just feel like it's a, it has to be a significant bench um, for story. I swear to God, man. Pearly just hangs out the fucking telegram station. No salt on tea, get well. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. Meeting. Coho. Uh, how does Saturday sound? Let me know what works for you. Coho. Redwater Company. I thought they're just going to want... They just they just want money. This is what I... This is what I, I think this is about money. Kind of... Kind of... Hmm. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to ignore that for now. It's not close to Saturday yet. Uh, so today, I think, I mean, I, I, I feel like Husky's going to be around. Um, and where Wallaby is right now, Husky's kind of leading the charge right now. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, Wallaby, you know, you're letting him take over. you got to understand, um, this is a... Um, the best way I can explain it is 
Husky Tarbox is the Thanos in this story, okay? And it's, we're not going to just... It, it's it's going to take some work for the story, for for this character to uh, to find it in him to overcome this, this major villain. Honestly. Um, and I feel like stepping back and letting Husky kind of take over on an... It, in an in a out of character context is really cool uh but in character it totally makes sense why wallaby would revert back to husky's the boss right i mean he he murdered he murdered wallaby's hero and and, and big brother so it just makes sense that he would he'd be terrified of the character um with all the trauma that comes along with that you understand this is like okay the Husky is not Wallaby's dad, but he definitely filled in that that kind of like that father kind of role over all the kids in the gang back in Australia. So, you know, we've seen it time and again uh, when there's like a big father presence. Even, even like the most hardened people like bend the knee to their dad, man. Let alone with all the shit that this character's done to Wallaby. But the way I see it is this. If, I'm going to say if, because it's roleplay and anything happened. If Wallaby can overcome Husky, if he can, if he does, I feel like that's a significant part. Like, that's, that's a huge bookend to a massive chapter in his life. Because everything hinges on Joey. Everything that Wallaby does is about Joey. He's he the way that he is about being famous is for his brother Joey. The way he dresses or or did dress is a tribute to his brother Joey. Everything revolves around Joey and what happened, right? And if if he can get closure, that would be a huge huge moment in the character's uh story. Huge. But it also could be the end. Keep in mind, this is roleplay. Husky could absolute, absolutely kill Wallaby. And, you know, I wouldn't be shy to perma if the story dictates it. So we've got to be careful too. None of this is scripted. Remember that. Wouldn't Joey want Wallaby to get revenge though? Uh, perhaps, but it's not as easy as wanting. Of course, Wallaby would want to get revenge. He's fucking terrified of this guy. Okay? It, it's not as easy as, oh, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't he want to? I mean, sure, there's a lot of things that you want that you, you just don't do. For various reasons, you know? Any of the DE, DEG members could, yeah, could die. Oh, absolutely, man. Husky's no joke, dude. I mean, we built him up as a massive villain for a reason. Because he is. Because he is, man. Uh, you're playing it right. As much as this arc stresses me out, it took me 30 plus years to face down my husky. It makes total sense. Takes time, man. Takes fucking time. And that's even if he does. We don't know. We'll play it out. I mean, a lot's going on right now. We got the LJ situation too. Like, that's not even over yet. Like, that's not even over. Like, I don't know what Husky being involved is going to do with that conflict. Because by the sounds of it, the last time we streamed, Eddie and Husky were talking more about being aggressive. Why what, Wallaby doesn't want to go out and, and shoot LJ, right? But it sure sounds like Husky is kind of encouraging Eddie to go down that route. So, this, like, just his presence alone is changing shit. Like, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's kind of liking, like, the Husky reinforcing his way of thinking. Um, and it's interesting that last stream, Husky kind of snapped at Eddie, and Eddie took it out on Wallaby. So this is finally Wallaby's endgame. We get more consistent Boyd story. Thank God. Wow, Sasquatch. Thanks, man. Husky might actually be a good guy, and Kid dreamed it. You never know, Great Britain. Wouldn't that be a twist? You never know. 
All, 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 all you've had is Wallaby's POV of the situation. It's up to you whether or not you think that Wallaby's a, uh, a reliable narrator. Don't know them. I'm confused. Is Husky's Wallaby's dad or guardian? No, not, not, not his dad or guardian. He was... He's a character that... Uh, sheltered uh, youths in Australia and taught them how to steal and rob. Kind of like Fagin in the Oliver Twist story. So I'd say more like a teacher or mentor. Uh, but then again, his brother was more like that as well. He's the old gang leader back in Australia. It's probably the easiest way to go about it. I, mean, I didn't check out the slaughterhouse. I should have checked that. Could, there could be people over there. Uh, Der Sap... Oh my god, I don't want to fuck this name up. Der Sapitan? Uh, Der Cap... Capitan? I'm sorry, man. I'm fucking up your name. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, though. Go through this way. Did you say that Husky taught Joey everything he knew? So in turn, everything that Wallaby knows? Uh, Joey, in my head, was more like a prodigy. He, it just, a lot of it came naturally to him and Husky more, more, instead of teaching, Husky more like, um, just used him. Like he was his, he was his money maker, his golden goose. He didn't really teach Joey. Joey was already a natural and, uh, Husky kind of just, uh, used him to make money. Now, you gotta, ask, you gotta ask the question, why is Husky here? Like, why is Husky travel all the way to America to find Wallaby? We don't know yet. He hasn't revealed shit yet, and that's what I love. I love the fact that he hasn't revealed anything yet. He's shown up. But why? Because Husky's a very selfish character. There, there needs to be a reason for it. It can't be just, oh, you know, I want to find Wallaby because I, you know, I want to kill him because he doesn't want to kill Wallaby, obviously. So has he? Maybe he's fallen on hard times without Joey. Maybe he wants Wallaby to be his new like breadwinner, his new golden goose. I got no idea. Wouldn't Darwin and Gib want to kill Husky? Probably, but where are they? They're not even around, so there's no point in thinking about that, dude. They don't even. I mean, Dren doesn't really play the character, unfortunately. But they're off. I think they're in Guam at the moment, anyway. So they're not even a factor. No, it's not just kill Wallaby. It's to kill his legend, his name, and everything that holds dear to him. I don't know. If, I don't think. I don't think that's it, man. I really don't think that's that's the reason. I don't think he's here. I don't think he's here to destroy Wallaby and what he's created or anything. I think he's more here to to cash in on the. Um, I mean, he must. He's probably read a lot about Wallaby and what Wallaby's been doing, and he's just thinking, "Shit, where's my percentage?" <laughs> you know what I mean? That's probably, that's like the way I'm thinking that he's probably thinking of that. Like all these heists, like I'm not getting my percentage. I, I brought this, this kid up. You know what I mean? Like I, I put a roof over his head. I deserve my share. I deserve my cut, my slice of the pie. That's kind of how I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's probably the route he's going to go, but I don't know. Maybe Wallaby he, is his new Joey. You know what I mean? That shirt, LOL, what's wrong with it? Don't like it? New hat? I mean, I'm in changing hats with Wallaby at the moment. He probably wants half of the 30k. Well, he doesn't know how much money that the Denim gang has at the moment. He hasn't asked, which is good because... <laughs> 
Who fucking knows, man, what he's gonna ask for? Will it be the sailor? Actually, this is the same shirt that um Billy the Kid had on, I believe. Let me just check. Let me look this up. Billy the Kid. It's similar. Okay, let me let me let me let me uh pull this up. Hold on. So There it is. So you can see I don't know if you can see, but hold on. Uh open this up. Yeah, very similar. So you've got like the you've got like the symbol there and the buttons around. And the coat is very similar to Wallaby's what Wallaby's wearing too. So this section here is pretty much what I got going with Wallaby at the moment. So it's like the the wool, the wool coat, the open vest, and the uh, the shirt underneath that. Very Billy the Kid. He's had his dented. <laughs> well, keep in mind, like uh, the the basis of Wallaby was definitely Billy the Kid was a massive inspiration for Wallaby, um, at least aesthetically. I'm going to go to a telegram office and I'm going to telegram some of the gang and get them over here. I should have done that when I was over there. Oh, horses. Oh, shit. Uh, Scooby hey, Pete. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you doing all right. Me on roads, straight up. Obviously, you don't know what I was looking like. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't see you, so I apologize. What are you looking at? What is this? Is a uh, Absolutely. like your jacket. Thank you. Interesting. What's interesting about? It looks very. Did very you make warm. it yourself? No. What are you staring at me for? Fuck off. I'm sorry. No, it's just it's just a bit different. That's all. It looks it looks good. I've had this coat for a long time. I have you know. No, no, it looks comfortable. It is comfortable. Well, how yes. are you, how are you boys doing? What are you up to? Oh. <laughs> Not much. Uh, he was we introducing were me things. to the wacky tobacco. What about him? Yeah. What do you mean? What about him? You want to some too? It. No, I don't. I, I I went through my wacky phase. I, I've learned that uh, I'm better off. It. Thank you, though. Well, oh, fair uh, enough. Yeah, yes. so I had it with him yesterday for the first time. We were digging for like an hour looking for scissors. Why the fuck are you digging for scissors for an hour? Because the lady said she'd pay $75 for the scissors. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, what was her name? No idea. Absolutely no clue. Yes, no idea. It was so, in Blackwater. Though. How the fuck Taylor's are you going to give her the Blackwater. scissors if you don't know who the hell she is? Oh, I already gave uh, her the scissors. I found Yeah, you... <laughs> He did community service today and found it right fucking away, right next to the store. No shit. Oh, well, congratulations. After he had a fifty dollar fine, so yes, he came out with twenty five dollars. Okay, and what mm -hmm. about that? What about that other thing, the more important job that I gave you? Yes, which I'm trying to was... follow. Them. Oh, you're talking yeah, to no, him. No, okay. no, for me, not not to you. Good, because I didn't I didn't think I had a job. And I, if I did yeah, have a job. I, I completely forgot no, about the job. Yeah, I wouldn't give you something so delicate, Pete. Don't worry about Do it. Do I have? So I have All noticed right. today that one of the people, uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Vera, I saw her around today near Rhodes. She was with another lady, and she was uh, traveling on the train. It seems. Oh, the trains are running. Yes, the train is running. I was trying to get Pete on there, but we were looking at tobacco. All right, all right. Don't um. Yeah, we're not going to jump on the train just yet. Wait until uh, everyone's around. We'll see what uh, what Husky wants to do. Husky? Who's Husky? Husky. Oh, he's... um. Oh, you've met him, Charles, right? No. Who's Husky? Oh, he's... um. 
Yeah, he know he's. He's been... not the fellow that came in the other day, was it? When I was wearing the wood outfit. Yeah, 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 him. Who is he anyway? He was very demanding. Well, he's someone that I've known for a long time. That's all. Well, you scared the shit out of that poor blonde girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, you know, he does that a little bit. Are you sure you're okay around yeah, him? Yeah, I'm. To be what the fuck's like... supposed to? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. He just no, you, seemed no, a bit you, full no, on. No, you don't know. Fuck no. Just don't fucking okay. worry about it. Come inside. All good. Okay. <laughs> Defensive, yeah, man. Yep. Uh, he's still smoking out there. Yeah, it's fine. So, any mad LJ at all? Absolutely nothing. Completely underground. Hmm. You think you spooked him that badly? <laughs> think so. Okay, good. Well, if he's underground, that means he's not going around trying to hurt any of us. That's exactly where we want him. One of his uh, allies, uh, Ariel. Right. He's a bit out of sorts at the moment due to a friend dying. Which friend? I don't know his name, but apparently he gave her a gun or something like that. But, uh, yes, apparently he got his head shot off. His head shot off? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't know the details of it, but she's quite distraught. A, um, oh wait, he was a, a duke or something. Duke. I don't know what that is. Alright, well. <clears throat> there's one particular I want uh, eyes on. Uh, a fellow by the hmm. name of Eli. You run into him? Eli, it sounds familiar. Yeah, he hangs around Valentine, I think, from time to time. Do we have a description? Um. Beard, dark hair. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Beard, dark hair. Okay. There you go. Black, maybe? Dark brown? Around. Wears a white shirt. At least last time I seen him. He's, um. And what about him? Well, he's, uh. LJ's, uh, number one, you know? Oh. And ideally, that whole mm. document thing, I'd like that to lead to him if possible. Hmm. If I can get a good look at him, mm -hmm. maybe I could actually look like him. If I can get someone to look like a government official, maybe it looks like I'm handing over documents. Just be careful. Just be fucking careful. Huh? Yes. We're going to need one of his other friends to just believe that I'm him, though. From a distance, at least. All right. What about the, uh, the bathhouse? Have they said anything? Have you heard anything from them? No, oh, they're a bunch of crazy fuckers. I went in there one time, just creeping around, and they just come coming up with all these fucking guns. I had to pretend I was like a foreigner. There's fucking something wrong with what these you, what, people. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean they came up with guns? Well, I was creeping in the back, uh, unrelated reasons, basically getting away from law. And uh, they said I was creeping. Oh so they came cough. out with these guns pulled out. Oh, there. Like they they thought I was eavesdropping in their conversations, so obviously that's where they talk. Um. Okay. Um. Just trying to think. Pete, hey, do the law know you yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Alright, and you just, you, you've been arrested recently? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe yesterday. I got arrested, I got arrested earlier today, <laughs> where I found those scissors. And I was doing community service at the time. <laughs> oh. But it was only for shine. 
Hi, First Eddie. time though was for a couple of robberies. Hello, Edwin. Back to Edwin. Hello. I telegrammed you. You didn't get back to me. Thanks. What the fuck? I got to get back to you two about Pete. I have a very, very good idea that I thought maybe you would like to share with me. Or, well, I would share it with you and then, you know, we could work <laughs> on it together. Like, you know, good bud. I love, I love these guys, man. Well, I well guess, I'm here now. I'm looking all forward right. to this idea. Let's hear it. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Where do I begin? All right, so. First of all. Insurance. You have a yes, insurance. What if happened? What if my horse got injured? You know, maybe shot down by some outlaw or maybe some law officer or something. Maybe that horse died. Well, what if I told you for just three hundred dollars a week, you could insure that horse? Why are we you would dressed replace like me? You, this is. Why do they look exactly like me? Why the fuck are you dressed like me? Why do they look exactly the same? Since day one. Have you been watching me and then you dressed like, like me? I think someone. I think. I think. Yeah, I, I, I I you copy are you copying Pete, Eddie? I've always. And a beanie, okay? I was just mixed matching outfits. I don't know. But I've been wearing this now for a while. They're like well, oh, shit. I'd say a few <laughs> days, maybe. A few days? Well, I've been wearing this since I got here, motherfucker, which has been at least a week or two. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, I don't mind. You know, it's kind of cute. I like when couples dress to like each other. Eddie. Eddie, where you going? I think he's going to change. What's well, wrong? We'll be here. Say something. We'll be here. Anyway, insurance. You sure you're sure going to tell me yes. and then tell him again? The oh, fuck you? Right. You should be fucking I'm careful with that. I'm wait. I was going to wait. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Need some water, man. Oh, and don't forget the tour bus as well. Oh, the fucking tour bus. Bang, bang oh, you. The what? Tour car. Oh, tour tour yeah. bus. I'm calling it a bus. But it's cart. What are you talking we about? Get two carts. We're gonna, we we gonna offer tours people, for people tours, right? We're gonna offer people tours of the crossing. And basically, we're gonna charge them like it doesn't really have to be a large amount because we're gonna rob them. But basically, this is probably a one off time deal. I don't think. I don't really see Wouldn't us doing more than maybe. Wouldn't it be smarter that uh, you run the service and then every now and again. Like one of us or something come over and rob it and pretend to rob you too. Very true. Anyway, what's this you fucking not, horse insurance idea? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hmm. That could work. In <laughs> fact, that could work better. A lot better. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to just do one fucking job with that. You want to do multiple, right? Indeed. Right, mm. and tell Eddie the idea. All right, like yeah, like I was saying. Insure a nag. I like it. Your horse goes down. You pay me three hundred dollars a week, a and week? Then I will insure that horse. If your Wait, horse a week? dies, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna well, pay you. The digging. numbers can be the numbers can be, you know, messed around with. This motherfucker's hair blue. No. Never mind. Must my eyes. Have a seat, Pete. I, I prefer have to stand. Have, have a seat, Pete. All right. All right. Yes. Take a load off. <sighs> Can I see that pipe? To be honest, this is nice. Can I see that pipe? Why? You know, man. Well, you know, man. You know I smoke that shit, man. Let me see that pipe. No, you smoke something no, else. Oh, come on, man. Let me you get a little You smoke something else that I don't want to touch. You oh, come a fucking on, ten man. foot barge, barge pole. No, man. Whatever, whatever you smoking. Let me smoke. Let me smoke a little bit. 
Well, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I understand you, Dab. You know, yeah, you can have that. Uh, yeah. Come on. Pass it around. Pass it around. You don't take it or what? Yeah, yeah. Pass it to me. Pass it to me. I'm trying, motherfucker. <laughs> now you ain't. You just oh sitting there. God. Just pass it to me. Come on now. You're not loaded up. Load it up. Load it up for me. All right, fine. Give me, give me a gun in a second. You want me to do everything for you? Yeah, yeah. Load it up for me. Pack it in. Let me get a little smoke for it. Let me get a little smoke, man. Why not? I mean, we, for the all smoking sub, right while we, we all smoking. We gonna uh, hear this fella out. We ain't going with this. There you go. Careful. Might be uh, too strong for you. What the <laughs> What the fuck, Matt? That's my goddamn pack. Why you do that? <laughs> now I can't smoke. Fuck us what fuck up, fuck. Was, was that necessary? I think it so. Broke it into two goddamn pieces. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, Pete. Pete, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's we'll, all right. We'll, we'll get you a new pipe, all right? Luckily, for that motherfucker, I can just slide it back in. It's fine. I th right. Oh, never mind. It's, uh... <laughs> yep, that is... Right. Fuck you! <laughs> all right. I love that pipe. I had that for, like, two weeks, motherfucker. Two weeks! That's more than most things last Was, in my Did life. you have to fuck his pipe up? Was that necessary? I had to be... You had to be... All right, you know what? What? Ed, I got... Come here, man. Eddie, come on. I'll Eddie, talk to you I'm for trying a to second. think of something more, am, you know, more, more, uh, Eddie, less... with me. ...combative to say right now, Pete. You should just sit down, clear your fucking mind, stop talking about fucking goddamn insurance. What the fuck is the matter with you people today, huh? You didn't, you, you didn't let me finish, motherfucker. The insurance was a scam. We gon' absolutely scam the, the insurance was a scam. People. When has insurance never, never been a scam? Hold on. God damn. What's going on with there? What do you mean? You're acting fucking weird. Let me tell you something, man. I've been working, okay? Yeah, I've never said you haven't been working, but you're acting fucking weird. And, you, and the other day when you walked out of here on me, the fuck was that? I'm not too sure what you're talking about, okay? I needed to get back to work. I'm a busy man. You need to get back to work. And what work would that be? Well, <laughs> did we all crash? Did the server crash? Is that what happened here? No, the hair is blue. It doesn't. It does look a little blue. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little blue. I don't think it is. Pretty sure it's black. Red M down. Oh shit. Okay. Is everyone is everyone kicked? Just you crashed. Oh, okay. So why the fuck you why got people saying that it's it's just like the whole fucking thing's down and then it's not? Why would you lie to me? Uh Fuck, dude. That's my third crash today as well. <sighs> how, how irritating. He might have crashed as well because he wasn't responding. There we go. It's back. Okay. Jumping back in.
Uh, while up he's in down, it's just him. There's a f there are several others still on. Yeah, I'm I'm getting back on. I'm getting back on. We good, man. We good. We good. I think. Are we good? We're preparing to request authentication ticket. It should be holding on this. F it shouldn't be taking this long. I think we have to restart again. Motherfucker. Hold on. Let me put some music on. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. My apologies. That was loud. Hey, it was, listen, it was just as loud for you as it was for me, okay? So, it is what it is, alright? Unsubbed? You're not even fucking subbed, Gremlin. Ah. That scared you so bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every guy's overreacting. CFX is down, so no one will get back in until they fix it. You fucking kidding me? Are you fucking with me right now? Oh my god. There was a DDoS attack the other day? Well, that doesn't mean it's DDoS now. Tombo Wombo! Thank you for the gift of sub to Gremlin. Oh my god. Okay, now he's subbed. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, yeah, CFX is having issues. Great. Great. Alright, we'll just keep... We'll just wait. I was thinking about maybe um, on the 31st doing another Friday the 13th stream. I had a lot of fun the last one, man. It was a blast. Might do another one. Yeah, CFX is saying there's major outages. Gr I mean, fuck, dude. How long does it usually take for them to fix this? They're usually they're usually really quick, right? <laughs> should be should be no time, dude. We'll be back in no time. Look at this shit. Come fucking close the game. Look at this. Close your fucking shit. Irritating. There we go. A bunch of people did crash because there was 90 people in the server. Now there's 65. So a bunch of people did crash. We just were, we'll just, we'll, one of the chosen ones, man. That were that meant to get fucked today. Uh, 5M is down too. It's a DDoS. Jesus. Kona can't do anything about this, man, if it's a DDoS. <sighs> do DDoSers spend money in order to do this shit? Is this like something they have to spend money to do? <sighs> Fucking pathetic, dude. Absolutely pathetic. You can buy a huge botnet to DDoS. What the fuck, man? A hey, BT door, man. Thank you for the 13 months. Over a year. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking shit. I guess we'll just wait here, man. I mean, you guys will tell me when it's back up. If, anyone, if there's other people having issues, then there's no point in me trying to get back on constantly. Just have to wait for it to come back itself. I don't get it. So it's an attack. Potentially.
We can have fun anyway. <laughs> coffee time. No, no, no. No coffee yet. No coffee yet. I think it's just you. It's definitely not me, man. It's not It's not just me. They thought this was a bunch of spam and they overflow. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. It's fucking lame, man. It's like the people that spend money to have cheats in like Dead by Daylight. It's fucking pathetic, man. We can discuss business in the meantime. Yeah, man. Let's talk business. Overwatch 2. I want to see the number one ranked tank in action. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to stream that game at all. People get too serious about that fucking game. You start to play Gotham Knights, it's enjoyable. The CFX uh, status website says it's fucked. Yeah, I know, I've got that open, man. I've got that open. I do still play DVD, I mean, I played it this morning, actually, when I couldn't sleep. To be honest with you. Gotham Knights is so bad. Actually, let me get this on, let me get this on the screen. Hold on, that's what I'll do. Hold on. So I'll take this off. Bring this up. This is what I'm looking at. Major system outage. So we just gotta wait for this to go away, and we can jump back in. Would you ever consider RP as a non-Australian character? I can't do accents, man. What's the purpose of it though? Uh, the application gets declined, so they just can't play. No one can play. I got no idea, man. There's weird people out there. This is gonna, this is gonna take a while, I think. Put this back on. Uh, na, 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 na. Hey, you know what came out today? Um, Mountain Blade Two. I think it officially came out, right? Official release. I think I should I should revisit that at some point. Dave and Smokey's still in the slaughterhouse. Yeah, I know. Uh, not 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 everyone got kicked out. So anyone that's still on there can still play, but people that got people that crashed can't get back on the server. This has happened before. I remember this happened months ago, and there's like ten people on the server that didn't crash, and only ten people could play on the server. It was really really weird. It was like that for like eight hours. So this could be fixed. This could be fixed within the hour, or it could take all fucking day. I don't know how long we give it before we just give up on it. We'll wait. We'll wait a little bit. It happened yesterday for an hour and forty-five. Ugh. Remember the day one Effie and Clyde Davis could wake up? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, if you want to post clips, yeah, I can watch some clips. Why not? You know where to put them. It's in the Discord. Fuck, man. What a bummer. Uh... Give it like 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's do just chatting. That's what I'm doing, man. I'm, I'm chatting to you guys. We'll give it time. We'll give it time. This song just makes me uh, think of fucking Jim Carrey and the Cable Guy. One of the most underrated movies ever, man. The Cable Guy is a is a fucking amazing film. Cheesy o saw. Thank you for the six month resub, dude. Half a year. I do appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just got here. What's what has happened? Uh, nothing, man. We just crashed. You can't get back on. Uh, we got some server issues. Um, so we're just waiting to get back on, man. The just was awesome. Yeah, man. Medieval times. I feel like that movie raised expectations of what medieval times is. I feel like if I go to America, 
I want to go to medieval times and it better be just like the fucking movie. How do I feel about Sumin coming back? Dude, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Henry Cavill's a, a great Superman. Is he better than Christopher Reeve? No. But he's pretty fucking good. Medieval, medieval Times is awesome. I go for my birthday every year. Is it still popular? I'll tell you why Henry Cavill is not as good as Christopher Reeve. Henry Cavill as Superman is really, really good, okay? Problem is, his Clark Kent is, is, is kind of weak. The personality differences between Superman and Clark Kent are non-existent. They're, they're the exact same character. Christopher Reeve, there's a distinct difference between Clark Kent and Superman. And it's not just the way he talks, it's his personality, it's even his body language. There's a scene in the original Superman, or Superman 2, it might be Superman 2, I think it's original, where he, where he is dressed like Clark Kent, and all he does is stand, he stands up straight and like pushes his chest out and just looks confident. And it's like a transformation before your eyes, man, between Clark Kent and, and Superman. It's fucking great, man. Just amazing performance as, as Clark Kent. And that's why he's still the best. Because he, he, he killed it with both. They're two different characters, essentially. Um, and that's where Henry struggles, is that Clark Kent and Superman are essentially the same. I just found out James Gunn becoming CEO of DC Films. Wait, what? Henry's best Superman and then Ben Affleck Batman wasn't terrible, you must admit. No, I didn't I I, I didn't mind um Batflick, man. I didn't mind Batflick. He was all right. James Gunn. Isn't he the guy that does Gunn, the Guardians of the Galaxy? Isn't that what he... Isn't that his thing? Isn't he Marvel? I thought he was Marvel. He's in charge of DC now? Since when? Today? Did that happen today? I don't know how I... F hmm. Is he good for the job? I got no idea. He did the Suicide Squad. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he did. He did the, uh, the, the second one, right? The new Suicide Squad. Yeah, there's a DDoS attack at the moment, I think, guys. So just, uh, if you just got here, we're just waiting to see if the server comes back. If it does, we'll jump back into RP. Bat, uh, Verts, fave Batman is Michael Keaton. In case you want, yes, yeah, Michael Keaton's the best Batman. I'm biased because it's the Batman I grew up with. But, dude, I just love Keaton. I just, I, I, he's, just everything about that Batman is just great. I love, I love, I love the, um, the bat suit. I think the bat suit is still the best. And yeah, he can't fucking move his neck, but I don't give a shit, dude. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? That cowl is so fucking good. Are we not counting Kevin Conroy? No, we're not. I don't count the animated stuff, man. I know Mark Hamill's, like, the, when it comes to the voice, is the best Joker voice-wise. 
but no, I'm just talking about live action, man. It's different. It's a different category, in my opinion. When people when people mix those categories, I always find it weird. Kevin Conroy is the best voice actor to ever do Batman, hundred percent. But comparing him to Michael Keaton's, it's weird to me. Uh, there is a question. Who, in your opinion, is the best Joker? Oh, Nicholson. Again, bias, but uh, that's just my two cents. I think, uh, I think I've been over this before as to why I think he's the best. I just love, I, I, I think the Heath Ledger Joker performance wise as a as a villain is really really good right but there's a there's there's some things i don't like about the character in in that movie i've been over that who's my favorite portrayal of the flash i'm gonna be biased again man the 89 tv show flash man <laughs> I remember watching that as a kid. <laughs> I've been gaslit into thinking Heath Ledger was the best. I've only seen one Batman movie. I mean, it's, I, think, I think the majority of people think Heath Ledger is the best Joker. I disagree. There's not enough Joker in there for me. Ew, that's like like in the seventies thought. No, it's not. Didn't he come back? He played this Flash again in the new series. I'm pretty sure. Let me see CFX. It's still down. Yeah, still outages. Motherfucker, man. He played Flash's dad. Yeah, and then he played the Flash. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he, he reprised the his role. I'm, I'm I've seen I've seen clips. I think of uh, him dressed in the old suit. CW Flash is garbage. Yeah, I I don't watch any of the CW shows. If you want to see Mark Hamill play the Joker, essentially, go watch. The 89 Flash TV show. Uh, Mark Hamill's in an episode and he plays a character called the Trickster. And it's pretty much the Joker's voice and the Joker's laugh. It's essentially him playing the Joker. If you want to see what Mark Hamill would be like as the fucking Joker. Dude, I, I don't know if this is coming back, guys. I don't think it's going to be out all day. I've got a bad feeling it's going to be out all day. He was on the CW Flash. Yeah, I know. I know he came back to play that character again. Honestly, the Flash hasn't really had anything really good yet. I, I, I don't have high hopes for this Flash movie. Essentially, I'm like... <sighs> Dude, I'm just going to go there and watch Mark Keaton. That's, that's the only reason I'm going to watch that movie. I couldn't, I, I really couldn't care less about Superwoman, is it Superwoman they got in there? Oh, fuck, who gives a shit? Or the Flash himself. The actor's a fucking idiot. I'm just there to watch Keaton. Oh, this sucks, man. My favorite voice of Batman is Peter Weller. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Returns, man. Yeah. Peter Weller's fucking awesome, dude. Robocop's the best. Now, nah, VPN won't work on this. This is this is not a this is not a Australian issue. This is this is completely different. 
If you were tasked with casting of a new Joker, and you could pick anyone but former Joker actors, who would you pick? Oh, fuck, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess people kind of want to see... Well, people wanted to see uh, William Dafoe play the Joker. He would have been sick. William Dafoe would have been—he would have been a good Joker, but I think that ship sailed now. He's—he's he's too old, isn't he? Unless, unless you did a Dark Knight Returns movie with like old retired Batman, and then you have him play old Joker. Daniel Day Lewis would be fucking yes. Daniel Day Lewis. There you go. There's my answer. Daniel Day Lewis. I put him above. William Defoe even. Daniel Day Lewis. It's Willem. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis for sure, dude. Have I seen the new Jeffrey Dummer show? Yeah, I did. If Harrison Ford is if Harrison Ford is playing Red Hulk, then anyone can play Joker. What? Oh, is that actually happening? Dude, Marvel sucks, okay? Marvel fucking sucks, dude. I'm so over Marvel. And you know why it sucks? It sucks because the fan base, they're just, they're just so numb. And they'll just sit there and eat up everything and anything they fucking throw at them. And th there's no fucking standards, man. There's no fucking standards. They've been remaking the same fucking movie. Three times a year for the last 10 years. People are just like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Oh, it's so good. It's like, no, it's not, man. No, it, no, it's not. And then you got dummies, man. Like, I got, I, I got a friend, IRL. He's like, oh, I've, I've said this before. Oh, Endgame is the greatest movie ever made. It's, it's the best. It's the best movie ever made. I'm like, why? Why is it the best movie? Oh, because it made the most money. It's like, that's, dude, you're so brainwashed. You're so fucking brainwashed. And these... Ugh, people are judging these fucking movies of how much money they make. That's, that means it's good, right? So they go into these movies with the preset notion that it's great because it made a lot of money. And therefore, they just ignore everything and be like, yeah, it's good stuff, man. This is great. And I'm not saying there's not good Marvel movies. I mean, there is some good Marvel movies. But my God, they're so cookie cutter. And paint, dude. I can't even. I, I can enjoy maybe two, three of them. Okay, I can go watch one or two. I can't imagine watching thirty of these fucking movies. I cannot imagine watching thirty of these fucking movies. And the CGI just sucks. Have you guys seen that YouTube video where the guy shows like CGI now compared to like CGI in the early two thousands? I'm going to find that fucking video. Hold on. Just what the hell? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch Let's watch this fucking video. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. Hold on. Right. Just what the hell? Here we go. Here we go. Oops, wrong thing. Now, this only goes for two minutes, but check this out, man. Just what the hell is going on with modern CGI? Why is it that apparently visual effects just peaked in 2009 and have been getting worse since then? And it's not only that 13 years later everything just looks look how, like garbage. Look how bad this looks, man. Like, look at this shit. Anyway, keep going. Since then. And it's not only that 13 years later everything just looks like garbage, that garbage has to be used in as many scenes as possible to the point that someone can't even put on their own shoes without having their feet replaced in post. At this point, there is more trash on screen than there is in the ocean. Take a look at this. 2006 Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest might be one of the best examples of CGR done right. There is such- Look how good this fucking looks, man. What year was- What year did this come out? Example of the Caribbean Dead- 2006 Pirates of the Caribbean- 2006! 
2006, man. And this looks better than the Marvel shit that comes out now. 2006! Caribbean Dead Man's Chest might be one of the Look best examples of CGI done right. There is such love and detail that if you rewatch it, you'll see things that you probably never even noticed on the big screen. Look here, Davy Joan uses his beard tentacles to grab his hat just before the Dutchman submerged, so he doesn't lose it. Did they need to add this detail? No, but they did, because they took pride in what they were doing. Three years later, James Cameron's avatar created an entire CGI world that made people want to leave the real one behind, swing through the trees, and ponytail bang or whatever it is these weird tree people do hmm. for fun. Somehow, over the last 13 years, anyone would even a drop of talent has been starved, burnt out, and discarded to the floor by studios to the point where we have to look at this monstrosity. Honestly, this could have been a rejected monster from- How- how- how is this? How is this? 2022 compared to 2006, how is this acceptable? And people are like, oh, this is- this is great. Marvel's so good, man. This could have been a rejected monster from The Mummy Returns, a kino that's old enough to order its own drink at this point. The biggest offenders are easily the MCU and any show on Disney+, Plus, which is strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? What is- what- What the, the fuck is this? This made more money, right? So it must be the- it must- it's just great, dude. This is good shit, dude. Man, they will just- uh. Judge. So Since lazy, even bro. their own franchise used to look better than this, it's almost as if the visual effects are trying to keep pace with the quality of the writing. Audiences are starting to realize it to the point that even their own directors are having to acknowledge it themselves. Does that look real? In that particular shot, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it really boggles the mind in the case of the latest piece of trash served up to us like it's the second coming of Green Jesus. Just make her look like Gamora if she isn't going to be radically different from her normal self. Instead of this soulless shell uncanny valley inducing creature that escaped from 2007's Beowulf. What a sad and terrible future this truly is. At least there are some smaller productions like Love, Death and Robots that seem to care about putting time into their art. And who knows? Avatar 2 is coming out and it looks great so far. Maybe the big studios will watch it and realize their sins and change their ways. Ah, who am I kidding? That's never gonna happen. Thanks, MCU fanboys. This is the future that you chose. What, you think you can just say a bunch of mean things like that and then take off? Yes! <sighs> yeah. Oh. We've got partial outage now. We might get back on the server. Hold on. Hold on. We've got partial outage. It's changed from major outage to partial. Let's see if we can get in. Hold. Hold. Hogs in the chat. Come on, baby. We're getting in. We're in. We're in, boys. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Thank fucking God. We're in, boys. We're in. Okay. Now, where were we? But yeah, you see what I fucking mean, man? Like, they're just so lazy. They're, they're literally on a production line, these fucking movies. And it's, you know what? You can't blame Marvel or Disney because these people that dance around saying everything is awesome and that, that's it. As long as those people keep buying tickets, dude, they're going to continue doing it. Same can be said for Star Wars. But you know what? Star Wars is starting to fucking learn though. Because I heard that the ratings for Andor are fucking, hor like, they're horrific. So, people actually starting to, uh, to learn with Star Wars at least. You know what movie I'm looking forward to? I heard the other day, you, you know the direct, like, one of my favorite directors right now is the guy that made um, The Lighthouse and The Witch and The Northman. If you ever seen The Northman, it's fucking great. I loved it. Um, he's making, he's remaking Nosferatu. And I'm all for it. And the guy that played Pennywise is playing, is playing Count Orlock. Oh, I'm so, I'm so hyped for that, dude. That's gonna be fucking great. Who the fuck are these people? That's what I'm looking forward to, man. I 
I don't know, Verts. They just announced more Star Wars movies set after the... Dude, those aren't going to happen. Do you remember when Kathleen Kennedy announced, like, fucking 15 shows and shit? And, like, three of them happened? Dude, Star Wars is dying, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't have the punch it did before. Those days are over. Looks like they left... That's totally fair. Let's go find him. He's dying? No, it's dead. Well, it's not dead until they stop making content for it, but it's pretty close. Because I heard Andor's actually pretty good, but no one's watching it. And you know why no one's watching it? It ain't because the show ain't good. It's because of Boba Fett and then backing up with, with fucking Obi-Wan, which was a complete fucking pile of shit. I wouldn't even say it's burnout, man. If they made good if they made good movies and good shows, people would watch it. But they got lazy. The, the, literally the attitude making Obi-Wan Kenobi was who gives a flying fuck? It's Obi-Wan Kenobi, let's just make it. And because it's Obi-Wan and, and Anakin, you know, people will just watch it. Who gives a fuck? Let's just spend as much like as little money as we possibly can and just throw it out there. They'll eat it up. But nope. Nope. And people did eat it up, right? They did eat it up. But guess what? They ain't watching fucking Andor now, though. Andor, A Andor was fucked, dude. Everyone felt like a low-budget fan, fan series. I know. I know. It was so bad, dude. I haven't seen everyone yet. Don't watch it, man. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. There's like three good scenes in the whole series. Mando season three is coming. Well, Mando's their only cash cow now. Literally, that show is the only show that's going to make them money. And the thing is, and I'll be fucking honest, Mando's not even that great. It's just, it's, it's just good. It's like decent. But because everything else sucks, it just looks amazing. It ain't it ain't incredible, man. It's just it's on par. But the but the bar is being set so low with uh, Star Wars that anything that's that's par is like incredible. How's the dragon was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Wasn't a fan of the time skips, but apparently the time skips are done now. So I'm thinking like season two is going to be incredible. Vert, Mandalorian was really good. No, it really wasn't, dude. It was okay. It was okay. But you know what? If you think it was incredible, that's good for you. That's your opinion. My opinion is it was just okay. Too many filler episodes for me. The problem with, the problem I have with, uh, uh, with uh, Mando was I really liked the story that it was telling. The problem is there's like three episodes that focus on the story. And everything else is just filler episodes that feel like like what they do with the animated series. Like, look at um, the Clone Wars show. It, it, Clone Wars show is incredible. But then you got those, like, side episodes that don't connect to the main story. It's like, like, it's like what all animated TV shows do, pretty much, right? They have, like, these side quests. And that's kind of what Mando does. Like, every episode was, like, a fucking side quest. And then when it focused on the actual story, it was fucking great. But there wasn't enough of that. There was too much, too much filler for me. Too much filler episodes. It felt too, it felt too much like the animated stuff when it came to that shit. Robbery today? I mean, if Husky's around, which I think he will be, then yes, probably. Might do a train or something, depending if the trains are running. I did hear the trains were running. Uh. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. I only watched the Mando episodes of Boba Fett. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. There was nothing else to that show. Fucking Boba Fett, dude. That... Uh, uh, 
gross, man. Fuck it. Fucking gross. They should have just kept him in the Sarlacc pit, dude. They fucked him. Who's that? I... I know her? Hello. Do I know you? Um, no, I don't think you do. Uh, hi, my name's Cecily. Cecily. They actually care mm -hmm. about what nice to meet you. Of looking for a cash cow What's your name? Well, you don't have to tell me. Sorry, that was really rude of me. No, that's fine. They call me Wallaby. Oh, oh it's lovely to meet you, Wallaby. Nice to meet you too. You new around here? Mm, I suppose somewhat, though not very. I spent a long time in Guama, so I know that feels name. quite new. I know Cecily from somewhere. I don't know if I knew, I don't know if I met her on Boyd. Or, I, oh, I say, fair enough. Well, you staying mm -hmm. on the crossing now or? Um. Jackson. Well, I, I suppose That's so. Yes. It. Boyd knows her. Well, oh, well, good. It's better. I, I haven't been a Guama, but I've heard not so nice things. What about Guama? Oh, it's utterly fantastic. Well, except for the fact that the, the demigod there likes to let the law over here go over there and extract people. Oh, well. That's not too great. But overall, it's very lovely. I mean, well, 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 who's, who's in charge over there? Oh, uh, well, there's a, a demigod called uh, Alexander Vasquez. He can control the weather. Oh. When he's angry. Well, sounds like someone you shouldn't trust. Mm, what, demigods? Well... Yeah. I don't suppose you fancy a tag-along, do you? Tag-along? Sorry, I just... Well, I don't know. Do you fancy some company? Um... Well... You can say no. Usually I'd say yes. But I've got something that's in the works. Oh. Well, that sounds quite fascinating. Up, up, up and, uh, you know, legit businesses. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I don't know if there's any interest to you, but I'm an aspiring writer, sort of struggling to find, well, anything to write about. I do only write fiction, but you seem like quite the uh, interesting individual to be yes, I'm talking very, to strangers in telegram stations. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm very interested. Uh, that, that has, yes, yes, yeah, you should read some of the papers. They have, they've written some nice oh, wait, things about you're in... me. Oh, always... I tend to avoid reading the paper. I find that they lie quite a lot. Well, that might be a nice place to start, though. If you want to write your book, maybe you read one of them articles. Maybe something might be interesting for you. And you look into oh. it, you know? I suppose. Um, perhaps I could give you my telegram. And if you ever wanted to, I suppose, regale me with your adventures, you could reach out. Sure. What's your telegram? Um, always insufferable. 841. 841. Okay. All right, I'll let you know if I think of anything that you can write about me. It shouldn't take me long. I know oh, what's what. It was a pleasure what. meeting you, Mr. Wallaby. It was nice meeting you too. Have a lovely day. That's who she is. Jack's girlfriend. Baby, I mean, will she be his girlfriend when he gets out of Sisica? <laughs> Doggo! Bro, why am I 10 seconds behind everyone else just shaking my head? I don't know. Refresh, dude. CFX has gone back up to major, so don't get a headache. Oh, no. Okay, guess so if we crash, we're fucked, right? Let me just double check that. Let me confirm. Oh, yeah. Major outages. Oh, no. Okay, let's... let's... Dude, they're fucking the server. Would you have... Fuck off, you asshole. Psycho Squanch. Thank you for the six months. A lot of better movies nowadays are under the radar for smaller productions. They actually care about what they're making instead of looking for a cash cow. Oh, 100%, man. 100%. Some of the best movies I've watched in the last few years um, are like movies that you probably haven't even heard of. There's a movie I really love called Upgrade. And Whiplash. I love Whiplash. I love Upgrade. Those two are like... Oh, I just love them so much. Upgrade is so good, dude.
Thoughts on Breaking Bad? I think it's a pretty good show, man. Pretty good show. I give it a solid uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, if you haven't seen Upgrade from 2000, I think it was 2018. Go watch it. The person who is DDoSing is doing it because they're mad they got banned for VDM. How would you know this? watch Vikings yeah starts off good and then dies a slow painful agonizing death can't recommend also the portrayal of Vikings is fucking I'm so sick of I'm so sick of black leather wearing Vikings dude get fucked At Ben 10. I had never seen Ben 10, so I'm sure there's a joke in there. I'm not getting. Dude, I've lost my gang now because the fucking bullshit. Ah, son of a bitch. I did watch the new Hellraiser movie. I, I gave that a watch. I thought it was pretty good, man. It was pretty decent. When you apply for Wild RP, do you have to give you a real name? No. Oz will always be on the top for me. I do like Oz. Oz was pretty good. The Last Kingdom on Netflix was pretty was decent. Yeah, yeah. I I I think Last Kingdom. Like, hmm. Last Kingdom quality wise, like production quality wise, isn't as good as Vikings. But from season to season, it's it's more consistently good. So if I had to invest time into watching one of those shows, it'd be I'd recommend Last Kingdom. Because Vikings just dies, man. It just it sucks. Alright, let's telegram Eddie and Pete. Uh, Eddie? Wallaby? Okay, I'm, uh... Um, who else? Pete, 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 Pete. Pete. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's yeah, Goose. Real tail again. Let's see if I got a telegram. What is she doing to Saint Denis? Peaky Blinders was good. Um, I watched the first couple seasons of, of Peaky Blinders and I didn't enjoy the plot armor on a lot of the characters, but I have heard that it gets really good after like season three or four, that it like gets real good. So that might be something I go back and watch.
why Wallaby and Missy aren't the same anymore? I don't know what that means. But I think the answer is probably because as time goes by, man, characters develop and they change. They grow. You can't expect the characters to be the same for like 10 months solid, man. They're going to change depending on the story. In honor of the world, the kid, I made a character on a console RP server called the Quick Draw Kid and managed to rack up a $60,000 bounty in order of the world to be hidden to. Sounds sick. Put a picture in Discord. Aren't you excited for the Netflix Avatar? No, I'm, I, I never watched Avatar. You never what? What did I say? What did I say? Oh, you mean... Oh, sorry. Did I say Avatar? Oh, no. I've seen Avatar. Yeah, I've seen Avatar. Sorry. I thought... For some reason, I thought you were speaking about something completely different. I watched I watched the Avatar movie. I watched it once. I thought it was pretty good. But, you know, I, 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 it's not like I've re-watched it. I've seen that movie, man. It's called Fern Gully. Talking about the series, dude. I don't fucking know, dude. Series, movies, all the same fucking thing. I think he's talking. I think they're talking about Avatar: The Last Airbender. Well, I've never watched that. Are you gonna get pissed off with me because I haven't watched that? What? Oh my god. Oh, god. God forbid. God forbid. I haven't seen every fucking movie in show for me. God forbid. You know what I'm gonna make? A fucking coffee. I'm still recovering from the fucking Quantum Leap trailer. I'm still recovering from that. Quantum Leap was the shit. Yeah, the original was great, man. I love it, man. I love the original Quantum Leap. I think it's one of the best shows ever made. And they fucking... Oh, those bastards. Those fucking bastards, man. I know it's... I know Edwin's here. I can see. I'm not blind. Give me a second. I'm going to get a fucking coffee. Those motherfuckers, dude. They... 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 They took Quantum Leap... Hello? Yeah, give me a second. They took Quantum Leap and they lit it on fire, bro. They lit it on fucking fire. CFX is up. Okay, cool. 316, thank you for the gifted sub, mate. Horror Girl 86. Welcome to the uh the, the, the Empire. Appreciate the uh the gift 36. Quantum Leap man. Remakes are never good. Well that's not entirely true. Remakes can be done well. But the ma the vast majority are fucking trash. This is true. But look at Cobra Kai, okay? Cobra Kai is a great example of an old franchise coming back in a really good way. It shows it can be done. They can do it right if they actually give a shit. Problem is, none of them give a fucking shit. None of them care. No one, no one fucking cares. They don't give a, they don't give a damn about what they're making. Now, is, is Cobra Kai perfect? No. I don't like everything about the show. But. But. It's not insulting. It doesn't sh shit over the original series. It doesn't, it doesn't disrespect the original movies. You know what I mean? It honors it. And sure, it's cheesy here and there. Okay? And yes... Some of the kid actors suck, okay? 
yes, I only care about the old cast, but as a whole, it's very respectful. And it, it adds to the original. You know what I mean? It adds. I hope they do Willow some justice. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, you want a spoiler alert? Willow's going to be a fucking pile of shit. <laughs> uh, come on, man. <laughs> Willow's got no chance. Oh, man. Willow, Willow's got no fucking chance, man. Oh, Willow. Oh, fuck, dude. Willow works because it's so, it's so simple and it's, and it's a condensed story, right? The Willow universe was never made to be expanded on because it's not a very deep world. <laughs> it's a very basic, it, it's basically, it's basically, hey, here's Lord of the Rings. But dumbed all the way down as a popcorn. Well, look who it is! As a popcorn flick, and that's why it's so good. Yeah, how do? Yeah, yeah. How many? Did Annie walk out here? Did you see him? Uh, no, nope. I didn't see him. Oh god! Okay. Oh my head! Uh oh. Well. Oh shit. That's not good. All right, I'm going in. Fuck oh, this. Being out of here. That was the tobacco. <laughs> yeah, Will Willow. Willow is good because it's so simple and it's it's a it's a one-off story and it's good fun. It's an enjoyable ride. Val Kilmer's amazing in it, okay? We're not gonna get Val Kilmer in this new show. We get some we're gonna get some random fucking teenagers that are gonna be the main cut dude. I don't give a shit. It's gonna suck, okay? I don't care how much nostalgia bait. You put in your fucking trailer. Dude, do you know how sad it is when their nostalgia bait is like one of the brownies? One of the brownies? One of those fucking tiny people? Like the little pixie guys? Like that? that's the nostalgia bait for that show? Like in the trailer? Like that's that's the big reveal for the, for the nostalgia. It's like, oh my god, we're scraping bomb of the fucking barrel, man. And listen, I love Warwick Davis. I love Warwick Davis. I'm happy for him to have a show. And I'll watch the first episode or two. And if I like it, I'll watch it. But I, I don't have high hopes, man. Adam! Thank you for $5. Just want to say a big thank you for keeping my day slash night amazing. I'm going through some hard times with my mum. She's not well. I hope she gets better. Thank you. Dude... Um, much love to you, to to your mum, man. I hope I hope she gets well soon as well. I appreciate the five dollars, and I'm glad I can entertain you a little bit, dude. We um, there's so many people, man, at the moment. It's just it's a hard time. It's a fucking hard time. But at least we can bash movies together, right? You know what they're gonna do next? They're gonna remake the Goonies, and they're gonna remake uh, Back to the Future, guys. You you just wait. You fucking wait. Stop spending 20,000 points for me to drop some. Stop it. Stop it. You wait for the new Goonies movie, man. You watch. You watch, man. You watch them remake the fucking Goonies. And you're going to have the kids from the original be the dads of the new Goonies, right? Um... But you only get some of the cast, like the ones that like are super cheap. They won't bring back what's his name, Thanos, because he'd be too expensive. They won't bring him back. They'll just bring back the the kids that are like uh, now accountants in real life and don't even act anymore. They won't bring back Josh Brolin. No, no, he'd be too expensive. They, they'll bring back the 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 cast, the ones that that are super cheap, and uh, they'll they'll come back and make one more movie and. It, you <laughs> just fucking wait, man. You fucking wait. <sighs> alright, is everyone alright? 
Yeah, I assume we're waiting on somebody in particular. Well, no, yes, I was. I'm well, fine. I, okay, all right. Now let's talk about the LJ situation because we need to get the ball rolling again. Okay, it's been. Oh, we need to get the ball. God damn it, man! What now? What? What? What are you complaining about now? What the fuck does that mean? Get the ball rolling again? You just stopped my ball. How did I stop your ball? What are you talking about? All right, this would be good to hear out. And yeah, this would be good to hear out. Tell me what you fucking mean by that. Oh, when, please, please, when did I go stop? ahead. What did I stop? Tell me. What I thought I we were waiting for this whole uh, note thing that you were yes, talking about. Yes, that's what I'm fucking talking about. We're going to start. So how do we get the ball rolling again? Yeah, well, it is rolling, but we need to continue where we're going with it, you see. Because he's paranoid right now. I don't know if Pete should... Pete, have a, have a smoke. Light one up. <laughs> well, the motherfucker over there threw my oh, pipe fuck. against the wall. Luckily, oh, I do always carry a backup pipe, Edwin. So, you yeah, have a puff. I'll be all right yeah, this time. Daydream or something. As I was saying, daydream. Uh, we have him paranoid. Okay. We got to keep him there. Now. His strongest ally is who? Tell me. Eli. Perfect. Exactly. It's number two. Yeah. The plan is, now we've got in his head, that potentially someone within his group could be potentially working with the government to set him up. That's been in his head now for a few days. When was that? When did you plant that, Charles? Had to be like a maybe a week, I'd say. Okay, so we've let it we've let it marinate a little bit, and now it's time to start directing suspicions at an individual. And I'm thinking we do Eli. What do you think? Okay. So we need to be very subtle with this. If we go too heavy-handed, it's not going to work. Subtle is key, and that's that's why we got Charles here. We need a way to direct suspicions at Eli. If we weaken the relationship between those two, the whole fucking thing will come crashing down. Eli. He holds LJ together, as far as I know. Keeps him level-headed. He'll become more unreasonable without Eli's counsel. I don't want to shoot Eli or kill him or nothing. I just want to weaken his ability to talk in LJ's ear. When we get rid of that, we can direct LJ however we fucking like. Any suggestions how we can point the finger at Eli in a subtle way? The only thing I can think of is dressing up like him, but we have to get the other group to believe that that person's him and That's then handing on for information. That is, that is fucking dangerous, though. Exactly. No? Oh, really dangerous. But if we can get him to... someone to look like Eli and then go talking to Law... Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I was just hugging. Hug, you just fucked me up. Well, I mean, I just mm -hmm. didn't twit myself. Oh, God. Do you have any food? Uh-huh. I need some fucking hungry. So rough. <laughs> of all the people, Eli will be the most difficult to believe as a government informant. 100% true. But we don't need to convince him that he's a government informant. We just need him to suspect he is that 
potentially he could be. That's all we need. We need just a crack. We don't need we don't need a chasm, man. We just need a crack. Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> okay, it does say systems are all operational. Right? So we might be able to get it might be just a normal crash. It might be just a normal crash, guys. It might be just a normal crash. Hold on. There's the, there's the crack. <laughs> We're going to get back in. I'm confident. We're getting back in. We're getting back in. Hold. This is my fourth crash, yeah. It's been, it's been rough today. Coffee time? I've already got a coffee, man. Already got one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's still operational, it says. <laughs> hey, good man. Hey, good man. Fake green lights. Nah, 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 man. It's not fake. It's totally good, man. <sighs> Come on, baby. Let me back in, man. Hold on. Let me just open my door. It's getting a little warm in here. Hmm. Concerning, ma'am. That's not a good sound. No. That's all right. I think we're loading in. Hold on. All right, that's something. That's progress. All right, we're in. See, I told you. I told you we're good. <sighs> what a nightmare. Today's been a real pain in the ass, dude. I apologize for this, guys. Nothing I can do about it, though. Tooth okay, though? Oh, it's much better, yeah. I still gotta go back... Uh, I still gotta go back in a couple weeks' time. But, uh... Yeah, the pain... The pain's gone. The pain's gone.
I still have a sensitive tooth that I think I might need a second filling. But I, as for the main one that was giving me the problems, I think we're good, man. Put Husky behind bars. We'll see, man. I got ideas, but I need to be able to stay on the fucking serve for longer than five minutes, you know? I need to be able to play. I need to be able to RP, man. If, the, if, it could, if I could stop crashing, that'd be great. Have you tried sensitive toothpaste? Man, those are all bullshit. Sensitive toothpaste. Whitening toothpaste. Extra whitening toothpaste. Extra, extra, extra white toothpaste. It's like, fuck off, man. Why can't we just have one toothpaste that whitens your teeth, that's for sensitive teeth, and it's just good all over? Good for your gums. Why do you have different sections, yeah. man? Fucking bullshit. All right. What I miss? Just Something brilliant. What? What? Mm, give me a hand. Okay. I boom. Boom. Bananas. All right. What about them? Well, where do you think they come from? Banana plant? Okay. And what, what place? I don't know. Well, everyone's like, I only got a grandma, so I can get bananas, right? Right. Well, what if we make them think they're from Guama when they're not? Okay. I have found three banana plants that aren't the Guama. Oh shit. Secret bananas. Yes. You tell Pete, did you remember that? What? Secret bananas? Oh fuck. Okay. I need food. Someone feed me. I tried to, but then you were like, I'm yeah. gonna go outside and pee. Yeah, I know. Give me some of those. Thank you. Oh, also, I got you some something else. Okay. This is very rare, though, so don't drink it. Holy shit. What do I do with it? I don't know. Very rare, okay. Yeah, very rare. Hey Pete, tell him about the banana box. What about what the banana? What? What? What is it, Pete? What have you got That's for me? That's your idea. What do you got for me, Pete? It ain't my idea. I don't Pete. send no boxes. It's your idea. Tell us, Pete. We're ready. That's, that, that was yeah, literally yeah. your idea. Yeah, but all right. But I'm not the one going to be doing it. But you tell him. Mm. How are you going to sell it, Pete? Hmm. You've forgotten. Come on, Pete. Tell us. I ain't yeah, forgotten dude. shit. Look at me and tell me the plan. Over here. We fill the boxes, Pete. Over we here. We fill the boxes with bananas. Do you want me to do it as if I'm Pete? Pete, over here, Pete. Over here. What? Tell me the plan. We gonna sell fucking bananas. And the subscription fee. Well, you know what? It was Eddie's idea. He should tell you. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Right? Pete's gonna do like a monthly subscription to banana boxes. So you get a box for the banana once a week for a whole month. You only have to pay $300, right? Right. And you will get your first box three away. Okay, well, we gotta keep this fucking banana secret under wraps. Except exactly. they don't refill their first box. They just have that one box okay, okay. and then we've made $300. Right. 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 Never right. feel right. again. I like the yeah. idea, but we need to figure... Okay, does everyone in here trust everyone in here to not talk? Of course. Oh, I'm the only one agreeing. Yes. Pete? What? You're not going to tell me about the bananas, are you? 
Tell who about what? Perfect. You don't talk about the bananas, you hear? Well, first of all, I don't even know where the fucking bananas grow. That's not the point. If they know that they're not from Guam, they might lose some value, you see? Well, I ain't gonna tell them that. You gotta speak them in anagrams, all right? And kind of, you know, shorten it down for them. Yeah. This is a good scheme. Pete. It's a good side hustle. I like it. In bananagrams? Pete. What? First rule of banana club, there is no banana club. You got that? What's a banana club? Hmm. Banana Club is the distributor of the banana box. Aha! But we don't you talk about it. About club. You no, but I'm, I'm just... Oh, you just the broke the rule. <laughs> oh, God. Well, here's the thing. You can talk about the Banana Club, but you can't talk about the na Banana Club unless you're discussing about the Banana Club and not to talk about the Banana Club. Uh, all right, all right. So all right. Many rules. We, need, we, need banana, I mean? we need banana pickers. Okay? We need people picking bananas. Who wants to be a banana picker? Banicos. Afraid I can't. Why not? Well, I'm too busy. Doing what? Making moonshine. Pete, you're the no. Pete, you're the box man now. This is better than the moon. This is better than this, you're the you banana box man. Guaranteed. Bananas, guaranteed money. bananas are the new are the new moonshine. You understand? We've only got a limited time How? to put two, because then they'll be flooding the market with bananas. Yeah. How? Out, I show all of you guys, and everyone can help pick bananas. So it'll be there every day. Oh, I'm well. I'm not much of a banana. Well, I mean, honestly. you know, I mean, I got oh, things. We got business. I mean, I we, know, we got a train. There's a train. Remember the train, and, 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 and then there's a bank, bank thing, and you know, and we got to run uh -huh. the numbers. You got things, the LJ situation. Oh, that LJ. I mean, well, you know, I mean, I think, I think the banana. I think the banana operation should be in charge of who knows more about bananas, and I think no one here knows about bananas as much as you do. Picking a banana. Banana? I never heard of it. I honestly, I I would I would squish the whole thing if I was in charge of it. Honestly, I'm you know me, old slippery yeah, hands yeah, wallaby. Yeah, I know you. You're good at squishing bananas. Not sure what you're trying to insinuate there, but if that means I don't have to be a picker, then I'm for it. Point is, point is, there's pickers, and then there's non-pickers, and I'm I'm a non-picker. Pete has the distinct. Posture of a picker. I've never seen a better picker in my life, actually. Uh, a picker ability, yes. Yes, yes, he picks everything. I've seen Picky's nose a time or two. He's very good at it. Isn't that right, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> See? He knows. Listen, Pete, we've got to give you a bit of advice. <laughs> There's a guy that we kind of knew. He's kind of like a friend of our organization, but he's got his own organization. He handles the moonshine, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's pretty much, you know, got it on rafts. You can corner the market on bananas, Pete. They call him Picker shot. Pete. He's the king of the banana beat. When he picks oh, those bananas, so, he goes, chicky, so, chicky, bananas. So chick, Pete's chick, chick, not good enough for a banana job. He wants to be a banana picker. <laughs> no, what we're saying is, is senorita, I can dance. Why can't you dance? Boom, 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 boom. And it's very nice. Can he has He can pick bananas. Everybody knows how I am not delicate. Yeah, and I'm, I want to. I honestly, I want to put, you know, put Pete at the head of this operation. I want him to be the aficionado of the banana business, the side hustle. This you is, know, we could get labels too and put guama on it just to sell it. Yeah, so it'll yeah. be guama banana. Yeah, Lord's not gonna know a fucking thing. Imagine going through town with wagons full of bananas, and Lord is gonna have to sit there and just accept it. You know. <laughs> You know, I really think he needs some help with it, and, and who's usually awake of... when Pete's awake? Eddie. And so is he, actually. But, you know, you know, the thing is, you can also put some moonshine in the wagon and, and, like, cover it with the bananas. So you could be transporting bananas, and you could hide moonshine Very within true. the wagon, Pete. What do you think of that? Do you think you can, like, shine Not out of bananas? Idea. What? Maybe. Banana flavored shine. Hmm. 
Ooh. You know, this is... I, you know what? I like this. I want the Dead End Gang to be spearheading the banana trade. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Yes. What you about do? going to the ranches and saying, hey, you know, if you want, you can buy some bananas. Banana milk. Banana milk. We can talk to that ranch near Blackwater and we can we can come up with some kind of deal. Banana tree. Oh my God, the potential. Perfect. We just need someone. Someone who's reliable, someone who can head the operation. Someone just walk through the door. What? I could handle business discussions. Like, where did he go? I'm sure I could cut it. Where's he going? He where are you he's, going? He's just taken. Oh! Oh, Papa Fly. I can just see who it is. I told you I heard something. Fly, come on in. Edit. I came with a shipment of bananas. No. What? 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 I, I, I am. I. You Have you what? already started this? <laughs> no. She's already started. Where'd you get the bananas from? Uh, Guarma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Flood, what? flood. We got. Okay. We got something for you. We got, come over here. Come over here. What if All we right. could tell you that we, the Dead Hand Gang, could provide bananas. They aren't from Guama. If quite a few people are doing that. Oh. Yeah. This whole fucking time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shut up, Pete. Shut up. Damn it. Pete. Fuck. That's fucking funny. Fuck. And he oh. beat him up. What? Don't even don't, try it. Don't, don't really don't other. try. No, no, I was joking. No, I was joking. No. Don't, don't, no, don't try. No. Don't. Just, just lean back there. Lean back. Lean back. It's fine. It was a joke. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You made it out like it was a big secret. What? Well, I didn't know people were selling bananas. There might still be some people that Flood, don't know, though. What, what other businesses are people doing these days? What, what sprouted up? Son of a bitch. I thought we were going to be the banana people. Oh, fuck. We can always My old ears the went. Market. You didn't hear what you said, Eddie. Well, uh, you, you know, Flood, what other businesses has sprouted up recent? <laughs> I love this uh, group, The man. rum business is pretty big. <laughs> That's oh. that pirate rum? Yeah. This is a war. Well, they still do doing it, dude. On it. Holy they shit, get the shield up in ah! Yep. God damn. I mean, you can make it for 12. Oh, wait, wait, what are we talking about here? There's a pirate room. It's a. Well, it's <gasps> grog, but it ain't watered wildly? down. Yeah, I got some rum. Might be. Show him the one Wally. Maybe he yeah, might be. Oh, he's it to make. There you are. Is that it? Yep, that is it. And what do you, what'd you say? You can make it? Yeah, you can make it. When do you make it? Ah, uh, well, you just like the ceiling shine. You just gotta use different ingredients. Oh, does, do many people cane know about Cane syrup it? and sugar cane. A lot of people know about it. Oh, for yeah. fuck's sake. We need something. No, we need Okay, to... so rum, bananas, what else? Wait, Flood, Lemons. you just use straight up Lemons. sugar cane? I know Lemons. people you know, will kill another person you know to find the put, cornbread uh, recipe. Lemons in milk, it makes buttermilk. And yeah, buttermilk's pretty lucrative. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, but... Really, if you find cornbread, the cornbread recipe, people will assassinate other people for that recipe. <laughs> nice it, yeah, no, it is competitive. How long can it be to make cornbread? I, I know, I know. It, it must be like some special cornbread. I heard because people, people are losing their fucking minds too. over it. Yes, banana is bread's it? the same, okay. apparently. And lemons, I suppose, they're the same as bananas. You know, people are... Uh, you can only get lemons and guarma. To my knowledge, at least. There ain't no lemon groves around here. What do you use buttermilk for? I don't know. Hmm. It, it, did I walk into a... Money making brainstorming session? Kind of. I found some 
a banana <sighs> Sorry. So this is the worst. Wrong. Thank you again for the raid, dude. I appreciate it. What was he playing? I haven't seen him in so long. Where are you, man? I went to the bathroom, guys. That's why I was just AFK for a second. My bad. Yeah, but if a lot of people are already doing it, then there's no point doing it. Yeah, no one's doing it. They just know about it. What, the bananas? Like one of the person shipping, yeah, one of the person shipping bananas from Guarma. That's Jasmine. Who the fuck well, is that? Her business. That's uh, one of the uh, individuals from Guarma. She does uh, shipments every week like I do. Except mine are more firearm she based. She offers tours. She's offered tours before as well. Wait, is there people Guarma. in, in Guarma making deals as well? Uh, uh, they're still getting set up. Yes. Yeah. Being a menace to society. I went over there for a little bit, and uh, when you come nice back to wild, actually. bro. But um, yeah. the militia, you have to be careful of. Just don't fuck them over. I mean, first day I got there, they stuck a stick of dynamite in someone's mouth and lit the fuse. Yes, that went all around Guam, Guam at that bit, including the person. He is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But we don't plan on heading there anytime soon. So, which character? Was he playing? Was he playing West? Yeah, well, I know uh, a few folk. I helped set up a uh, saloon there called Omens. So we'll see how that's operating. All right, all right. Well, we can come up with something. We just need a hook. That's all. Just a hook. Something unprecedented. Something. They ain't gonna cause too much attention at first. Make a lot of money real quick. <sighs> By the way, I might have some guns for you. Oh, fantastic. I have bananas for you. <laughs> How much are the train guns going for nowadays? I don't know. I don't really deal with those. The Irish deal more with those. What about a Springfield clean? Uh, I've been having trouble selling those. I'd pay around you know, four to five for it. You'd pay for... You fucking me, Flan. No, they are hard to sell. I have been sitting I on sold, one for a month and a half. I sold one of those to a bald-headed idiot. Paid me $9,000 for it. And that was, a, that was a dirty one, too. Who the fuck bought that? It goes by the, the moniker The Thumb. You heard of him? He bought that much for me? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, don't let him know you ripped he him off then. He was stupid. Yeah, I said 9000 He's like, all right. And he gave me the $9,000. Couldn't believe it. Jesus Christ. I couldn't believe that either. Yeah. Can you do Bullshitting for, can, me? Can you, can you do a six for me? Yeah, but uh, give me a bit. I need to actually sell some guns. Well, I got it when you need it. You let me know, all right? All right, yeah. No, the problem is actually selling one, so... Well, yeah. Abby, what did he say? Did you say? He said, all right. Like that? Yeah, he was like, all right. All right. Yeah, that's how he said it. And then he gave me $9,000. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. He must be rich. Not anymore. Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So, Flood. Yep. <clears throat> what do you got for us? Anything? Uh, I'm still working on that thing with the riverboat, but apparently they've been getting into some trouble. Oh, I don't know if you know Delaney has moved back in. Is he the one? He's moved into uh, Eddie's Manor. Yeah. Yeah. He had an unfortunate hunting accident the other day. I did hear about that. How'd that oh happen? yeah. Crazy. Couldn't tell you. All I know is that when I went there, he was talking to the law. 100% he was uh, talking to them. I went by to go get some medical supplies when I was looking for Coop. And uh, he shut up really quick and got all the deputies into a corner so he could talk to them. Fuck! Next thing I know, he's getting on a wagon with his people and the law are escorting him to St. Denis. <laughs> like, Full-on escorting him. 
Right. Rotted like, in formation or anything. Why, 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 why does he need security? Uh, probably because he was ratting to the law. Tell him exactly who was involved in his uh, hunting accident. I don't worry about it. It's being handled. Wait, what? That's messed up, man. It's just nothing. It's nothing to worry about. You know, it's just uh, you know these squatters. You know how they be. They move into a place, and you know they hunting accidents. You know, daughter gets ran over by a cart. Son gets you know struck by lightning. You know these things happen all the time around these. And then parts. three people shoot themselves with their own guns. It's tragic, you know. People just lose their minds and stuff. I heard about that. Yeah, I heard it was. Uh, I heard it was a deer or something. Something to do with the antlers. Seemed like he was punctured. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess uh, that accident couldn't have happened to a nicer person. <laughs> right. Come some storm tries to shake me down. I'm gonna show my goddamn hunting accident. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> um, let me see. What else have I got here for you? Do you know uh, anyone by the name of Minnie? I was yeah, no, just Minnie. about to mention that. I got her she gave Navy. me a telegram. Oh my great. Fucking great. Did you say Minnie? Yeah, she yeah. gave me a telegram saying that she believes that the dead end gang took her gun if I could find out any information whatsoever. My horse can send telegrams? What the fuck? I didn't know this. No, no, not your horse. Minnie uh, Blackwater. That's my horse's last name. Is he, is he all right? I'm kidding. All right, so maybe there's another person called Who's Minnie right? that ain't my horse. Pete. Oh yeah, he's just Pete. Okay. He, you know what he's doing. Oh, just don't look like it on the outside. All right. Anyway, well, um, <clears throat> Flood, I'll uh, I'll be in touch. Okay. Um. All right. I, I might have some more uh, arms for you. Sounds well, good. Did you, uh, that gun of Minis, did you want it sold off or did you want something um, in good favor? Because they are a source of information to me as well. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll see her about that. Um, okay. See what Fair she, enough. she can, uh, see what she can offer Don't... in exchange. Yes. Yeah, um, Minis are good people. Um, Charles, you want to show Flood? Just, just walk him out, make sure. You see him again, Flood? Uh, of course. Me and my Jerry is your guys. Come on, old man. Well, where am I leaving the goddamn bananas? Because there's I'll so just many stop bananas. Stop the door, please. Okay, I'll put it in the bush. Please, thank you. Did you make that man go to Guama to get you bananas? And now <laughs> yeah. you found bananas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to bring carrots here for you young people. Huh. Came out of nowhere. What was that? Huh? What? I said, do you young people need some type of an order of carrots here? Because carrots? a man of my advanced age with impaired vision clearly could see who is in here. Yet I see a number of you needing binoculars to see who I am all the way down the hall. I'm just making sure, you know. Maybe we should light a few candles. Maybe you can anyway, announce yourself when you arrive. Well, I was being polite by standing outside and not interrupting whatever business you had going on in here. Maybe you would like a trumpet fun fair? I do not require such luxuries. A knock on the door is usually enough for me. Anyway, mm. how goes it here, Richie? Um... Or as well, I imagine? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Apart from your war with the Betrayer. Well, you know, the 
that's 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 being organized. Um, got picked Looks up. Looks here for days now. Well, you know, it's. Look, go ahead. You were saying it's a delicate situation. There's no need for excuses. Look, let's move on. It's mental warfare. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking my time. We got we gotta hit him where it hurts, which is his mental capacity. Um. And, uh, I can see you speak as someone very experienced in warfare. Especially mental warfare. I, um, got picked up by the law uh, over the Blackwater situation, but I was able to talk my way out of it. I, I'm sorry, what was that again? You know, my ears are old. You've got picked up by the law. Well, they they asked me questions about the the Blackwater. Uh, really? Yeah. Um. Because I whistled, but it, it turns out that they were so focused on 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 me that they might not know who else was there. And I was able to talk my way out of it. I was just walking by, whistling. After all. I got picked up in a wrist. Well done. Well done indeed. Then always quick with the tongue. An unnecessary mistake, but you uh, followed it up nicely. Bravo to that. Well, no reason to make that mistake again. Well, your mouth and your tongue may be silver indeed. It's best to save it for when it's needed most. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, we heard that the, um, I mean. Um, uh, how, how are you doing? Oh, I'm quite all right, quite all right. I uh, spent some time with young Penny uh, this morning. Just uh, She's doing quite well on the tasks I assigned her. And aside from that, you know, just uh, seeing the sights, I was hoping at some point maybe you and your friends could uh, show me around some of your favorite places. Maybe tell me some stories of the Dead End Gang. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we, we, could, we could do that. Um, we, we heard that the trains might be running. Oh. Yeah. Well, this sounds interesting. Yeah. Tell me about the trains here. Well, yeah, they got passengers. It goes along the track. It goes choo-choo. It runs on coal. I see your level of seriousness about everything. Explains why you have been in prison so many times. You know very well what I mean. What is it carrying? How many people are usually on it? Are there guards? That sort of thing. I'm sure you know. All the, um, the train staff now carry firearms to protect themselves, but, you know, we can be persistent and we can usually shut that down pretty quickly. Average is maybe three to four passengers, maybe more sometimes. And where does it usually track from? Is there a route? What is its usual loop? Um, it'll, it'll go to to Rhodes, then to Saint Denis, then around past Emerald, back to Valentine. Um, and I assume you've robbed this train before. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you should be quite good. Yeah, if, if that's if you think we should do that, uh, we we could we could uh, maybe do something make a little bit of money oh yes money is always useful i am as they say skint having come all the way over here so a little pocket change is always welcome i do thank you again for the guns you procured in blackwater and i'm glad you didn't have to get punished for it yeah unfortunately. now what how, what sort of ways have have you robbed the train what kind of devious plans have you come up with We've used the tunnel to jump down on top of it. We've used oil tankers to get the stop. Oh, Sometimes we get nice. on board and, and pretend we're passengers. Ah, um, I like that one a lot. Something a little dramatic. And plus, you c can, you know, disguise your identity for a change. Yeah, if you, if you think, yeah, we could do that. Or we could just tell them who we are and say that this train has been taken over by the dead and gang. Feel us and give us your stuff. Yeah, at my like we work said, at the moment, normally, young lady. 
But I imagine in no short time will you find yourself on a boat across the river to the Siska prison again. But how are they gonna know to fear us unless they know who we are? Where? What were you well, that is, though, man? That is what guns are for, are they not? No, like we've been saying, man. I imagine most people, are, if you, unless you're intending on robbing this train without a gun and just your name, in which case I would be incredibly impressed. If you can go well, there, maybe with your ball. finger in your pocket, pretending you have a gun. Somehow I doubt that just at the sound of your name, everyone there will tremble unless you're pointing an iron in their face. Mm, they tremble at a whistle. And why is that? Because they usually get robbed when the whistle happens. But why do they get robbed? Is it because of the wallaby kid? Or is it because he has a gun and they know he will shoot people? Well, I mean, okay, let's put this in perspective, right? Joe Schmo comes to a train, starts to whistle, and then pulls out a gun. People are gonna be like, who the fuck is this Joe Schmo? Right? right. Wally comes onto a train and whistles and pulls out a gun. Everyone's gonna be like, fuck, it's Wallaby, and then put their hands up. So you believe if just anyone you didn't really know came in and pulled a gun, they wouldn't be terrified? Well, how do you feel right now with this gun pointed right, at you, uh, uh, young lady? Okay, well, uh, let's take it easy on you don't that know one, me huh? Very well, or maybe you know enough. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's just uh, let everybody calm down. Listen, we've been doing this now for quite a while. This is how we do our business. Just proving a point. It's not yeah, even it's, loaded. You know. <laughs> right. Yeah, listen, let's. Okay, listen, we can. We can. Let's all just. Let's just all. Stay calm and let's let's work together and um Regardless, if you wish to rob a train undisguised and going and screaming your name so they can identify you later, well so be it. I myself do not have as many years left and I will gladly watch as a uh, spectator on the train. Mm. I don't have the years to waste in Sisica prison. Yeah, we can, we can, we can. And you young lady, you know, women only have so long to be uh, fertile. You can't be spending no fertile years out in prison, especially with this young man here. You're going to need children one day of your own. Uh, anyway, um, we can we can work out. Um, I mean, you can find the train maybe in Valentine. Then telegram me when it's leaving. We can organize to get on. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. I'll find out the schedule and I'll let you know. Now, what was your telegram again? NS591 I can uh, I can I can walk you to the door sir Excellent excellent Actually uh, Missy would you mind walking me to the door yeah, You know if this is your girlfriend I would like to get to know her a little bit just I promise no funny business no proving points of the like Can can I come along too No no you stay here this was a private I'm conversation sure this door. Um, oh, pardon, just a little, sir. We'll be back soon. No worries. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll, uh, get something together to... Yep, we'll telegram you. No need to follow along. You want me to follow? No, it's fine. I was about to fucking shoot him. What the fuck is going on? Listen, it's fine, okay? Don't worry about it. Alright. We're doing a train. Everyone up. We're gonna get fucking dressed. Game fucking face. Charles, you're with us. Come on. Alright. You realize if I get caught, they're gonna put us together. Okay, just be on the fucking train as a passenger. If Done. we need you, we need you. If we don't, we don't. Alright, we'll do a code word. Something like, uh, yell Bolivia or something, and then I'll know I need to come in. Sure. Where's Pete? Alright, we're gonna get dressed. 
differently this time, matey. Masks. Come on. Ooh. What kind of mask? Wait, wait, wait. We should talk. Okay, but we gotta, we gotta get ready for this train. We can talk after. Just two minutes. Yeah, all right. Um, go get, go get dressed. Come back here. We'll meet here in uh, ten minutes. Okay. All right. time I've known you, if I've ever noticed something with you that has me scared. Why would he ask that? What, what, what do you mean? Well, like, why would he ask that? That's so weird. If I've done anything that, what made you scared? Yeah. We got a, we got a, we got a, we got a job to do. Um, you can use that bandana to cover your face, okay? Can I just not cover my face? What happened when you wanting people to know it's us? What happened to wanting to be in the paper? Not, not this time, okay? With the whole LJ thing going on at the moment, we can't afford to have anyone in Sissica. We need to all be out here together. All the time, okay? Together we're strong. Well, if that's the case, we shouldn't be doing crime. We, ne we, we need... We need money still. We can't just... Not... How much money do we have with Papa Flood? It's not enough. How much do we need? More. If we ever if if we ever need to leave here and run away together, we need to split that up amongst all of us, not just me, not just you. There's a lot of people that it belongs to, and when it's all split up, we're not gonna have all that much. We need more. Okay. Eventually, we can, me and you can just run away. We can we can run away and you can go wherever not you want. Bolivia. Wherever you want. And that, that'll be that. Could we go to Jamaica? Yeah, we can go to Jamaica. I'm really? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a mask. I'll be back. So good. So fucking good. Oh, my fucking horse is gone. Of course it is. Whose horse is this? I'm taking it. <laughs> How good's the husky theme song, by the way? <laughs> totally, totally using Lex Luthor's theme, but it's so perfect for him. It's so perfect for him. <clears throat> okay. 
We're gonna telegram. Let's check that. Uh. Hey, don't kind of. <coughs> Fuck. <clears throat> I think it might be because of lack of sleep, but I'm struggling a little bit with Wallaby voice today. I think it's I think it's got to do with the sleep. I'm pretty certain. Uh, let's use Pilgrim for this job. That's, uh, that's, that's Sheriff Hart. I think I should have tequila or help? Oh yeah, man. I just got, I got tequila while just lying around. Once we locate the train, we can figure out, um... Did, did you know it was me? Yeah, I knew it was you. It's the, it's the hair. It is the hair. Fuck, I just wasted 50 bucks. You don't got another 50? Well, no, no, you'll be fine. I, but I see you every day. You'll be fine. Yeah, but... I had a hat on, but... Hmm. What do, I, do I look like me? I look like me? Yeah, you look good. Yeah, you you kind of look like... Not really. I get him to turn around. They're not going to get a look at my face. Nah. I was gonna wear a bucket. I mean, what if we ever. <coughs> Buckets for gazers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a fucking voice, man. We'll see. <clears throat> okay. That doesn't help. Let's do the Baz voice. No, we're not doing the fucking Baz voice, man. We're not doing the Baz voice. Man, that fucking song that I played as he was walking out was so fucking fire, man. Whew. Love it. Italian voice? No, let's not do that again. I thought you kind of ID through voice. Uh, I mean, you can. It's 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 not encouraged. It's not encouraged to do that. I'm gonna struggle not to whistle, man. It's like almost blasphemy not to whistle. Do the Irish accent, that was really good. I don't remember doing that, but I'm sure it was fucking horrific in every way possible.
thought it was a fucking purse on the bridge, but it's a fucking fish. <laughs> Let's run that over. Out of the way, tuna! Oh shit. That almost fucked me up. Fucking snake? That's a rattlesnake. Damn. Alright, where where is uh P? Alright. Okay. Um. I think we just keep it simple. Just jump on the train, take control of it. What do you think? Um. It's been a while since I've done a tween. Do you want to board it? Like, without jumping on it? Would that be better for you? Um... I think I'm wanting it. Yeah. For what? Uh... Well, we did rob a bank. And I might have smeared banana all over it. Well, that's not enough evidence. Uh, what if they're like... It smells like Missy Banana. Missy Banana? What's the Missy Banana smell like? Do you want to smell my banana? I'm sure it just smells like banana, right? I don't know! <laughs> what if someone saw us? You couldn't find P? He ain't in there. Okay. I think they might have went to Rhodes. Why were the fuck... Why were they going to Rhodes? I said I was going to St. Denis. I think they might have went to Rhodes to change. Okay, well, let's wait here then. Um, the plan will be this. Um, Husky's gonna get on at Valentine. Pigsy, I want you at Road Station. Okay. When it gets to Rhodes, I want you to pay for a ticket to go on. Um, okay. We then wait for it to go to Saint Denis. We went leave Saint Denis. Me, Eddie, and Pete. We'll uh, jump on the back of the train and take control of the carriage while you make your way to the front and take control of the conductor. Yeah? As a question. Sure. If I has to hide who I am, how am I gonna pay for a ticket? Oh, fuck. You can put a voice on. Um, no, you're right. You're right. Okay, you're gonna have to stay with us then. You need, you need your own horse so you can jump on the train. Uh, uh, I'll just, I'll just this me. Okay. No, 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 you can't. You gotta, no, you gotta hide your fucking face. No. Uh, okay, I'll just pretend like I'm not Missy. I'll say, hi, it's not Missy. Can I have No, a that's no, no. I'll get it. I told you. I told you why. Well, you always do something I know, so but we Okay, yeah, but we haven't been trying to get, like, we haven't been fine with LJ in the past. Alright? We gotta all stay out of fucking jail. We go, we go to jail and the rest of us are out here by ourselves and LJ could be doing anything. Who knows? Okay, well, I need a stable if I'm going to get a horse. Here, you want to take mine into town? No, I can wait. <coughs> Fuck, man, my voice. Alright. I gotta check telegrams anyway. We'll go... Stay here, wait for, uh, wait for Pete. I'll be right back. Telegram. 
All right, I'll drop off the stable. I'll go check my telegram and I'll meet you back at the slaughterhouse, okay? Yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. The primordial experience. Thank you for the 20-month resub, bro. Thank you very much. Missy and Wallaby have been together for four years now, right? Uh, I like to think that's an accurate amount of time, but everyone does time differently on the server. But that sounds about accurate for the for the way our story is. Schedule. Turkey is flying the coop five minutes from now at approximately 7.05. Two minutes heading east. All right, it's coming this way. so good. I don't think that was Morgan and that was Husky. I think. Uh. Russian mate. God damn it, Pete. What? That was a fucking sheriff that just rode by. I wasn't, I wasn't talking loud. Oh, okay, good. Where's Pixie? Thought she was with you. Oh my god, I took her to the fucking stable. She isn't back yet? No, we've been here all the time. Okay, well, the train's left. It's coming this way now from Valentine. All right. Fuck! Do you want, do you want Which, Eddie and I? You, you probably just oh, went Eddie, to the, the goddamn, what's it called? Do you, do you want Pete and I to get on the train at least, just um, to, as disguised? Yeah, listen, you and Pete head now to Rhodes and get on the train. Get on the fucking train. All right. We're going to hit it when it leaves right, St. Denis, okay? All right, we'll head to roads now. Yeah, let's find Pigsy. Come on, Eddie. How fucking hard is it to get a ho Okay, Pigsy. Train's on its way. Hi. Do you want, uh, Eddie, should we get a, wa uh, should we get a wagon? Lock off the track? You want to do it on up the road from St. Denis? Like heading up to Annisburg? Uh, do you think it heads to Annisburg? You said it was heading this way yeah, to St. Denis, right? Yeah, but it could cut to the west and go towards Emerald, which is more likely, I think. I got 17 bucks. How much you got? 100. Pixie? Yeah. I have plenty of monies. I think we need about, I need like another 10 bucks to get like one of those four horses. I can give you that. Is this you? Oh, wait. No, I, no, this is me. Wait, wait, how much you want to give me sixty tank? bucks? Why don't you get a fucking old tanker? What? Okay. How much are those? Seventy? I fucking. Mm -hmm. They're like fifty, I think. All right, well, give me the money, man. All right, get a fucking wagon. Where do you want it? Oh, we're gonna head out of town. Just, just follow the fucking track. I need water too. Plane's going sideways quick. How's it sideways? How is it sideways? <coughs> I 
No plan? There literally is a plan. We're fine. Chill. We're fine, man. Ah, let's go. Oh, I don't have a long arm on me. Shit. Give me one second. This horse fucking gone, are you kidding me? Where is it? There it is, okay. There are gold bars on this fucking horse, son of a bitch. Alright, with me, come on. <coughs> I'm hoping people on the train, man. We'll see. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Alright. Kingsy, I want you to go to the station. Um, when the train pulls up there, I want you to run up the fucking tracks and find me and Eddie, okay? Let us know that it's here. Okay, how far are the tracks you gonna be? Uh, not too far. It's gonna be where, you know where the train line splits? From yeah. somewhere up there. You'll see us. See you guys in prison? Oh, thanks, Goosey. Focus. Of course. God, if there's like one passenger, that's gonna suck, dude. for a good spot here. <coughs> All right. You think it goes to Annisburg or do you think it's gonna take a left? 
I think left. Um, yeah, no, yeah. No, it's not gonna go left. Why wouldn't it? Left's a dead end. No, it isn't. There's a track that goes all the way to Emerald. It's not, it's not charted on the map. It's a new track. Left it is. Come on. Come on, Eddie. this sign when the train starts getting close you ride right onto the tracks okay a good that's perfect you're okay. onto the tracks I'm gonna be down there somewhere I'm gonna ride up onto the train jump onto the back of it and get control okay, okay. when the train comes to a stop uh, you jump on and, uh, you know, you help. You, you know, you know the routine by now. Yep. All right, man, you focus? You ready? <laughs> ready to get this done? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm always focused. Oh, now, man, we've done this a hundred times. We'll get it done. Yeah, I know, I know. We'll handle all that other stuff later. It's gonna be fine. Let's go wait for pigs here. Hey man, uh, you don't think, um... Uh, you don't what? think, uh, you know... You don't think, uh, you know, a conversation might... You know, want to be had, maybe? About what? You know... I don't know what you're talking about. You know, about what was discussed. Which one? You don't think there was anything that might need to be discussed about what happened in that room? He was just making a point, okay? He had no bullets in the fucking gun. Eddie. All right, all right. Think we're going for the safe on this one? No. Guns and cash. Blow up the uh, the tank, car, okay? Got it. I want the train to be able to leave when we're done. As long as they don't blow me up. And we'll have control by then. Don't worry about it. So roughly, when do you want me to pull it out? Um, just, I say when the nose touches just the end of that bridge right there. A little bit closer. Okay. We don't want them to stop on the bridge. If they see you come yeah, up yeah, yeah. that soon, they'll stop right away. I think, yeah, I'll eyeball it. Just make sure, you, make sure you just jump off the wagon, okay? Yep. Be close. Oh, 
man. This is nervous. In those pre-game jitters. I mean, you know, I never asked you. How many plates you juggle? Trains too many Saint Denis. No, it never does that. It never does that. Here we go. I just got to see Denis. Eddie's gonna be up here. Me and you're gonna be further down the line, uh, down that way. We're gonna jump on, on the back, and uh, make our way to the front. Okay. What the? F okay. You know what? Yeah. No one's gonna recognize you. You said I'm even the mask. It's good. It's good. All right, Eddie. Good luck. Keep your eyes open. See you on the other side. I even got an eye mask. Perfect. Alright. I am not Missy, I am Gold. I think it'll work. I think, yeah, I think it will work too. Oh, the fog. gonna jump up on the bridge. a fucking thing. Wait, do we have this tan or the switch to jump on? No, we don't. We'll, we'll jump, okay, we'll jump, jump okay, we're going to the other side then, fuck it, whatever. She's saying something, is she? I know, man. Fucking fog. Dude, Eddie ain't gonna better see the damn train. It's terrible fog. Fuck, fuck off.
way that it goes to Ansberg. We improvise. <sighs> we go get Eddie, he jumps back on our horses, we follow him up to Annensburg. Oh, you should be playing things and now we improvise. No, no. No, the passenger trace never got up to Annensburg. It's not going up that way. <sighs> Why would it go to Annensburg for? I'm usually never nervous for jobs, but I'm like super nervous right now. It's gonna be fine, alright? How many people were on the train, did you say? No. I saw Ed. Okay, it's Ed. Gotcha. Good. Good. I'm glad it's Ed. I'm gonna need you to do most of the time. What? What? Uh, yeah, I thought this is the first time we've ever done something like this before. Come on. Uh, Listen, if you want to ride away, just do that. If it's too much for you. Uh, really? Yeah. We've done this before. We've done worse. Way worse. This is nothing for us. Why are you so mean? I'm not trying to be mean. But you are. Okay, I'm gonna go away to get more this way. Starting to clear up. Hmm. No crashes, no crashes, no crashes, no crashes, no crashes, no crashes. is that? Pixie. There's a bunch of people over where, where Eddie is. Oh. Don't go riding in there like that. Hold on. Chenzos. Friends. Associates. Compadres. What's going on? Something like that. Oh, right. Okay, okay. What's going on? Oh, never. <laughs> yeah. You might want to leave here. I'm just saying. Okay. This yeah, gonna be get the fuck out. <laughs> Mr. Kid? Yeah, it's me. Fucking Christ. What happened to your head? You might want right. to leave. Ooh. The train's gonna be here any second. Oh, oh, it's one oh, of those. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, like I'm um, literally a minute. <laughs> all right, hey, we, all right. Okay. Hey, where the fucking hey, horses? Listen, I wanted to fucking meet. All right, we got business. Yeah, for you. we can we can talk soon. Yeah, yeah maybe later, today. Later. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Where, where the I'm fuck? Gonna, where's the fucking horses? I'm gonna blame them and say they scared them all. God fucking damn it. Okay. Um. Get on, my, me off. get on my horse. Get on my fucking horse. We improvise. Plan B, improvise. Are those the, are those the fucking law? Oh, no. All right, listen, you, Missy, take the carriages. I'll get, get straight to the front and get the uh, conductor. 
I'm gonna need you to do most of the talking, okay? I got it, I got it. I always get fucking bad luck with them damn carriages. Yeah. It's not your fault. Here it comes. All right, you jump on. I'll stay on the horse. And then I'll ride along. I'll ride up to the top. And then I'll jump off. Yeah. You're, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Sure. Oh, my gosh. It's a small twain. It's okay. It's real small short. trains, big prizes. It's super short. We should go. Super short. Go now. Go. Against here, facing that way towards the rock. Hands up. Sure thing. Well, 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 this doesn't look like much of an apology to me. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Get them all out here. All of them out here. Is this right, meeting this you're trying to organize? Come on, lady, stand up. Already been ID'd, man. Already been ID'd. <coughs> They're right here. I was, I was going to consider you a them. luck charm, CeeLo, but not anymore. Nope. Damn it! Well, there goes a quiet ride. I. I'm bringing people from the train. It happens. All right. Gotta keep guns on them. What do you want? All right, who we got? I thought you were changing a new first. leaf. Do I know you? What? All right, you're up next. Already been searched. All right, you got your, your guns on the ground. Uh, I get it. Oh, no. Uh, no, my guns are removed. Who took, sorry, who took her on. guns? I did. Give them back. Uh, Put them on the fucking ground. Right. Things are broken. guns right. on the fucking ground. Who's this fella? Deputy Seal. Have you been searched? Uh, well, I yeah, yeah, kind of your frame with the red mask already, dude. I'm going to double check. I got it. I got it. Oh. Okay. All right, you're good. He already took my watch. It's not working. All right. Deputy uh, guns are going on I'm the sorry. ground. Nobody mm. touches them. Oh, they might end up falling just, to just the cracks there. Just, just fucking grab them, will ya? I'm trying. Oh, All right, pick them okay. up. Philo, I'll take them. Everyone I else, I want you to face no towards the front Stay of the there. train and start walking towards this stair here. Jump off the train to the right and walk up to the rocks. Unless you're Ed, you stay here. I got it. Are you I'm... right about this, Miss Ed? What are you gonna do with this? Listen to what he says and you won't get hurt. Over to the rocks. You promise me they won't get hurt. Pull them up there, get them to sit on their fucking asses over by the rocks. Person, if I may. All right, got weapons and everything like that? Well, now, keep I don't feel comfortable as a man. Alright. Go. No, no, I'd like no, to stay here with her. No, on go. I'm, I'm waiting for my deputy. She'll be fine. You, she'll be fine? Yes. Go. Or something. Fine. You're right with this huh. I don't know. I'll be okay. <coughs> How'd you... Come on up the hill. Over to them where the rocks are. <coughs> Get to the rocks. 
<laughs> Sorry. Ah. Wow. I'm sorry. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I had hay fever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ow. No. Don't do it. Richard. All right. Grab her. Take her to the rest. What? Grab her and take her to the rest. Rest? What is the rest? The rest of them up there! Okay, take her to the rest, got it! What did I do wrong? I can't help but I don't feel well. What the hell happened to her? She doesn't feel well. <sighs> the moths were pointless, yeah. Stay with Ed. Get back on the train, Ed. Don't start it okay. yet, otherwise I blast. All right. It's a, it's a man. I want to say I'm sorry for the not inconvenience you, no, no, today. No, you, you will uh, safely make your way towards Saint Denis. Again, I will say that riding a train is usually very safe. It's safer than horseback riding. So statistically, you should probably continue to use the railway line. Have a lovely day. Where are you taking the conductor? Fuck off. Keep your hands off me, Ed. Keep your distance. All right, Ed. Huh. Go. Jack, she's Drive making me nervous. Me. Go. I, uh, okay. Uh, choo, do you want me choo. to physically drive the train, or you Just want me to tell the conductor? Choo, choo. Okay, no. Jose, Just let's stay go. in here. Where's my fucking cat, man? Choo choo. Faster. Even Ed needs love. Okay, fast, okay. Or cold. What do you want? Who, who are you? Shut the fuck up. You go faster. Okay, okay. We'll faster. Go as fast as we can go. Go as fast as it can. If Shovel more coal in. I want to see sparks flying off these tracks. This is as fast as we can go, okay? Perfect. Alright, you take command. Don't make any sudden movements. Alright, you two are gonna get off at Emerald and uh, go to the slaughterhouse, okay? I'll meet you there. Alright. Okay. Going. We're almost there. Valentine? Sure. Running it, go. Okay. Your um, your 
dating that marshal, right? Yes. I need you to tell him something for me. What? Tell him that husky tile box is here. He's very, oh. very dangerous. Husky tar box. He's worth looking into. He's a really, really bad man. And you're not? No. No, you're not a bad man. You don't understand. I don't even want to be here right now. So do me a favor. And just remember the name Husky Tarbox. Husky Tarbox. Tell the marshal. Stop the train. You can't do much right now. You can't do much right now. You realize that, right? The marshal's been paralyzed. It's better than nothing. Who are you? I'm Batman. No. <laughs> Husky tar box. Just remember the name. Okay, so she didn't ID us. But I'm pretty sure Angel did. She called me Richard. Fucking bull! I just could get on the bull and ride the bull. Now we gotta get back. We should probably get dressed. Is that a horse? Is that a cow? Love this ish man. You're one of the best. It's a horse. Oh, uh, is that a donkey? That's a horse. Like a, it's a horse, but it looks like a donkey. Okay. Bang. Oh my god. It's a mule. Ah, yeah, it's a mule. I knew that. Dan Django. Thank you for the two months, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the kind words. than you guys thought. We didn't even have to, we didn't even need help from Charles or uh, or Pete. I was hoping Pete was gonna draw his gun, but he just, he just, he just, he just kept playing victim, man. What the fuck? I knew Charles was gonna do that, but I thought Pete was gonna get involved. I really wanted to say I'm Batman. <laughs> what do you guys think of that play? Wallaby dumping the name off to Ed to get to the marshal. I really like that play, man. I like that play. Because right now he's under the radar. It's, this was much sneakier than, um, than 
just going to lore and doing it. This is this is better. It also gives Nia something to RP with uh with Riley. Fuck, I'm worried about getting dressed now because where the fuck is Rhodes? We're getting there, it's just a long way. By the time we get there, the lore might be already there. We gotta be very sneaky here. Let's put our jacket on. Get the hat off. Gonna look a little bit different. Okay. how she uh she said you're not a bad man compared to husky no not at all though i did just fucking hit that lady she purposely walked over to put snot on me man fuck we're gonna do extra time for that shit damn it Hit her twice. Yeah. Fuck her up, man. Okay. Did you rob anything? Yeah. Yeah. I got a rifle and a Schofield. I think some of the some of the uh, some of the other uh, gang members got some shit too. because it's, it's so different to what I was wearing. Let's go get Duke. man different horse different outfit the music's not helping yeah I know right Shout out to Nia. Uh, she didn't have to to change it to not knowing who I was. She already ID'd me, and I, I was okay with that. Um, I think she changed her mind. She didn't have to do that, but shout out to her for doing it. Oh, Brad, I'm not saying Wallaby's a good guy. I never said that. I said compared to Husky, he is. There's a there's a there's a difference. I'm seeing horses. I'm not sure if that's a good sign.
bush time, you reckon? His hair looks like a fucking 80s rocker for a second there. Where's Pigsy? You know, maybe... We should talk about what happened. Where is she? Before she comes back. What do you say? What do you want to fucking talk about? Let's I don't know, to, man. Don't, don't you... Don't you think that that old geezer that just has suddenly popped out of the blue that you've ingratiated in, which I think most of us have really much accepted, pulled a gun on your girlfriend? I think that didn't sit right with any of us. Don't you think that maybe you want to talk to your butt about this one? Wait, wait, you don't think you don't think Pixie, you know, can look after herself? She needs you to, I don't know, fight for her, defend her. Oh, what the hell? What? Is that even worth it? The fuck's that supposed to mean? Really? We tried to, we tried to warn you. There's too much law on there. Well, there was only two, what, two, three law? Yeah. Whatever, we fucking handled it. What's the problem? Okay. Okay. Hey, I thought you were going to get involved. What the fuck? Involved in what? That... That was not worth any of us getting involved. Including you. I was trying to give you a signal. Unfortunately, I could not. What, what, what was wrong with it? I don't understand. There was like... How much money did you get out of that? We Who got, were we, we robbing? Got, we got like... We got, one we, got, soul? We, got, we got like... We got six guns. Is that a fucking problem? Okay. Andy, what'd you grab? Well, guns, it's not bad. I got 240 big ones for you. And remember, you gave me that money, so I was thinking I'd uh, pay you back. Perfect. Did you get any uh, guns off uh, any of them? No, I stole all the log guns, but I gave them all back. Yeah. Wait, so how the fuck did we get six guns then? Okay, maybe we didn't get six guns. All right, maybe we didn't. Fuck. Hold on. You said no law guns. No law guns, no. They don't sell for enough money anymore. Really? Gentlemen, okay. could you give me 15 minutes? Please. What do you mean? Maybe 10. Just give me 10. Make it five. Five minutes will be our Seven time. minutes, right down the middle. What? We'll go five. Well, let me set five. Let's go away. Come on, man. I know we're going to get back to business, okay? And I know we're going to handle shit, and we're continuing to handle shit, but... Who is this guy? We, we, you know... It's, you know... He's, um, he, he ran things from where I came from. I figured that out. Yeah. Okay, so an old friend. Yeah. Sure, that's okay. But man, come on. He, he's, um, you know, he, he has his ways, you know, he has his ways, but... You know, he's, he's just trying to make sure that we do the jobs right, you know? And he's right. Sometimes I can get a little, like, ahead of myself, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud. It's why I don't wear a mask, but you know, we got to start thinking smarter because, you know, with the LJ situation, when you think about it, if we all go away to Sissica, we, whoever we leave out, he's gonna be vulnerable, right? We gotta stay together, yeah? 
so so just for a little while we just gotta do things a little bit more by the book I get that sure I can I can agree to that you know I don't mind I don't mind I you know I I kind of like what he was saying you know you know some of the things you know you got to think tactical and we got to start thinking a lot smarter and we could use some advice sure yeah Yeah. Let me tell you something here, blue hat and your goddamn jumper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk to you because you're my bud. After what transpired in these couple of weeks, you don't expect me not to say something when another motherfucker comes in here drawing a gun to someone pointed in that seat. You can understand why some of us, naming no names, are a little concerned and maybe want some clarity from you. What do you want me to clarify? Well, I suppose you already have clarified your relationship with him, an old friend, right? Yeah, he, 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 he ran the crew. Right. I respect that, and I, and I know you respect that. But he can't come in here and start pulling guns like that, loaded or not. We can't take risks like that. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll talk to him, okay? Huh? Yeah, I'll talk to him. Missy, you want to come down? This one, you, you, you're just spying on me. What are you talking about? What, what you yes. can't, you can't, stand there. yeah, what you can't, like, that's where she stands. Okay, but does I, you can't, like, I, I, I would talk to you if you were here. I don't know what you gotta hide for. She wasn't hiding. I wasn't hiding. I asked where you were, where she was, and you didn't answer me. You just kept quiet and hid. I was just standing up in the corner. I just wanted to be on my own. It's frustrating not 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 having the answers, ain't it? That's supposed to fucking mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, you got a fucking problem? Because just, just the other day when he was like telling you exactly what you wanted to hear, I couldn't. I didn't see nothing but a smile on your face and like a pep in your step and your. Your shoulders all up and puffed out, like, like, like someone was was giving you a fucking blowjob. Let me tell you something, okay? Wait, wait, so when he's telling you what you like to hear, you're fine with it, right? Yeah, I'll admit that. I think every once in a while, a little positive reinforcement around here doesn't go amiss. But there's certain I, I, things I that we got to draw the line on. Positive reinforcement. What are you fucking talking about? <clears throat> Being okay? What? What? Well, not the most lucrative job now, was it? <laughs> No. Uh, you know, but uh, we got something out of it, okay? We, we got some guns. Well, I certainly did as well. That young lady you robbed. It was the first time on the train. Her name is Scout. She's actually a friend of this Miss Peach, as you know. Okay. Well. And already I can tell she has a great mind. She refused to... Speak to the law about anything that happened. She's quite a thief herself, apparently. Now I'm going to need a navy revolver to give to her. She was saving up for one, and I think she deserves it. She deserves a navy revolver? She does. Do we have one laying around? 
No, no matter. I'm sure you can procure one in due time. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Who, who is this lady? What, what is some random lady we're giving guns to now? Is she going to no, pay for random. it? Or? I had a nice conversation with her as we walked home. Okay, nice conversation. A nice conversation. What? Now, we I, is my judgment being questioned by a bunch of people who, despite all their best efforts, were still identified? Even your girlfriend apparently telling one of the people her name? Man, what? After all the talk we had beforehand? It's very sloppy. Who'd she tell? Apparently the lady that was a uh, hurt on her head. The pigs, you wouldn't do that. Well, I can only tell you what the woman said. And somebody also said your name, Eddie, although I'm not sure how they knew. Now, I have thought about this on my way back as I spoke to this young lady. And I think I know what the problem is. Now, all of you are seasoned professionals at what you do, are you not? Yeah. And well, I have know. been unreasonable in my demands of showing, show me what you can do. And, you know, I'm not treating it as seriously as you deserve. For the level of skill and notoriety you have accomplished. So clearly what I think you need is a challenge. Something you are forced to take seriously. Something bigger. Something better. Something worthy of the uh, reputation you all have created for yourselves. Don't you agree? Not this fly by the seat of your pants. Let's go grab a bunch of people, whoever may be on a train. And hopefully more than two people show up. Something big. A very big score. Perhaps the biggest you've ever had. One of the biggest. That sort of motivation at risk of danger. To get your mind focused. To not making so many sloppy mistakes. Wouldn't that be a lot more interesting to you? We, we, well, I, I, I've, I've done a lot of those. I, I did the, uh... Are you out of ideas, Richie? That doesn't sound like you at all. I, 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 I got ideas. I got, I got ideas. I know you do. Now, if you're satisfied with the way things are, that's fine. That is for you to decide. I just think better of you is all. I know you can do better. I don't know this gentleman over here very well, or the one across me very well. Or even talking to Mr. Eddie and, and young Missy, you can tell they can do better as well. You haven't all come this far together without the potential to do more. Yeah. The greatest outlaw Saints Crossing has ever known. Doesn't that sound nice? The Dead End Gang. We assume that you have a suggestion. Do you assume I have a suggestion or do you hope I have a suggestion? I'm going to assume. Well, I only came up with this way, this idea on the way home. You've had quite some time to think about this. I, if you allow me a day or two more, I could help if you need it. Do you need my help, Eddie? I'm gonna get a smoke. Well, I will be happy to think on it and make some suggestions, as I'm not familiar with this place enough as the rest of you are. Don't be too discouraged, Eddie. You still did quite well. We'll come up with some ideas. Yeah, yeah well, um... I just... I'm, I'm a bit concerned, is all. Now, I know I've come here and disrupt things, and you were just doing it for my benefit. And uh, that's on me. I'm very, um, I'm, I apologize for that. I shouldn't be treating this so cavalier. You know, you're putting your, your, your lives and uh, your, the, the prime of your life on the line for me when you go out there and do this, just, for, just so I could see how you're doing. So I, I will promise not to, I will take this with a lot more sincerity and seriousness in the future. 
I'm I'm just so I'm just so Sorry. excited to see you, Richie. See what you're capable of after all these years. Yeah. Yeah. I would be careful of that girlfriend, though. If she's letting her name slip while you're on a job, that's quite dangerous. What exactly did the train conductor say? She said that that girl told me her name. We got a group of law outside ready to Oh, for fuck's sake. Arm up, arm up. We got trouble. There you go. Hey, guns drawn. Don't have the ammo to sustain a fight. Wait, I've got an idea. I got an idea. We were on the train. You caught us as maybe hostages or something. No, no, no. Wait, around, we're around, backing gather out gather again. Around, gather around, gather around. What about the fucking drop down plan? Yeah, 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 that's what we do. We still have horses and we get out. Cause thinking their horses my oh, our horses might not be there. We take this. Yep. Wait, are we going, are we gonna run out there and just grab no, horses? No, 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 we gotta get into position. Just, just, just stay up here, don't get seen yet. Don't get seen yet. I'm gonna, we're gonna deny. Hold on. But, Seen me. Just stay, just stay with us, okay? We weren't there, right? Exactly. Good on ammo. Tell them her name, surely. Right? Tell me that's not possible. I did see her talking to to Angel, the conductor. She pulled her aside. You don't think she fucking told her? Right? Come here. We got about two two seconds. Come here. <clears throat> Why don't we hide up in her fucking spot? Why don't we just hide? There are a couple of spots. There's a few we, we spots could, downstairs. We could hide. Let's, let's fucking hide. We hide in the office where you were just hiding, right? I don't think everyone can fit up there. We just need three of us. The other two, they, 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 were, they weren't part of it. Are they downstairs already? No, 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 no. They're, they haven't come in yet. We can hide. There's a hide. There's a hi There's two good hiding spots downstairs. We have to be fucking quick, though. Okay, come on, I shall. Come on, quick. Okay, one here. Right behind here. No one can see you. Another one in the piggy room, furthest back corner to the right. They already here. Fucking hide. Go, go, go. I'm shit myself. We're at Pete. He wasn't part of the robbery, man. He should be. He should be good. Oh my god. <laughs> Shh, shh, shh. Very, 
be very, very quiet. <laughs> it's prop hunt. <laughs> Damn it, that's static. Fuck off. They're all gonna pile in any second, man. So I ain't gonna move shit, man. Your rifle's peeking out? No, it's not. We're good. Dude, if I'm glitched at all and my fucking leg's hanging out somewhere, we're fucked. termite <laughs> who's that <laughs> fucking squeaky peep i, I want to yell out to them that's too dangerous if they spawn in as i'm yelling they know i'm here and they'll find me the thing is they might have seen eddie Anticipation's killing me. I, re I I bet you my leg is hanging out on someone's screen. You watch. You fucking watch, man. You're gonna find Pete. All he's gonna hear is all you're gonna hear is God damn. <laughs> Listen. He's got plausible deniability, man. You don't think Missy actually told them it was us, right? Because she pulled her... I did notice that she pulled Angel aside. What's Law waiting for? Oh, they'd be... Oh, there could be a number of things. They're coming up with a plan. They're waiting for numbers. Maybe there's only four and two on the way. Um, you know, that's actually that's probably the two. Those are, those are the two main reasons. <laughs> He's mind fucking you. It's beautiful, man. It's a work of art. <sighs> I, I give us a 50-50 chance of getting out of here. I think it's a 50% chance that they, they find us. See, if they find just one of us, just one, and they will search every fucking nook and cranny, dude. And then guess what? We look guilty as fuck. <laughs> so, this is a risk. When one of them... Sp you watch, man. They're all going to spawn in at the exact same time. There's going to be six just piled up in there. Shadow King. Thank you for the 13 month resub, dude. Much love, man. Hey Verts, love the videos. You always do a good job. If you ever have an event for any game, stand by your side. Hail to the king. Thank you, man. Where's Husky? No idea. I saw him walk upstairs. Start shooting if they find you. Yeah, good idea, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Temper bro. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Brand new subscriber. Hey man, how you doing, dude? Thank you. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the Empire, dude. You're now one of us. You gonna get disconnected? No, I can do this. Oh no, I can't. <gasps> Fuck. Shit. Never mind. We could get disconnected. We 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 would have to move. Dude, they are fucking taking their time. They might have left, dude. Honestly. You think Eddie was full of shit? <laughs> oh. That's upstairs. That's upstairs. quick oh it's risky man <gasps> that counts as movement right this is fucking oh that's that's it uh, that, that's moving man we good I'm gonna turn the oven on real quick be right back guys Sheriff's Department, could I get someone to speak to me, please, before I start breaching this place? Oh and my Sheriff god! Sheriff Winward from the SESD. Fuck! Shh! Shut up! You're breaching officer today. Yeah, you fucking breach. Go ahead. Go ahead and breach. You ain't find shit. Does anyone feel like speaking up? Well. Speaking out? Allow well, me to be very clear. If you do not identify yourself, you will be identified as a threat at this time. Oh god. I got reason to come in here with full hostility. What? It's your last chance to speak up. Innocent till proven guilty, so rabbit! No. Fuck. Shh. Shh. I will take any show of silence as an indication that you are seeking violence today. No! We're seeking... Stealth. <laughs> One up top, you better start talking. You're all gonna die. Shut up. Oh see my. Shadows. See shadows? Right. How do you see shadows, man? Maybe they don't... Uh, there has been a little dust kicking up. Yeah, there's, there's dust. Definitely yeah, dust. We, got, we don't hear you. <laughs> Cross the sheriff's department, do you hear me? Braithwaite, this is the SCSD, can you hear me? Let her Braithwaite's here, that's not good. Thanks, Cross the sheriff's department, can you hear me? Deputy Bolton here. They don't stream stuff in there, of course not. There's someone walking uh, upstairs, I think. Must be shit in a lot. <sighs> breach. Right, Fucking breach. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. Thank you, Tess, for the four months. Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department, if you hear me, let me know. They're very nervous at entering this one door, man. We are moving up and we are moving out. Come on, then. Oh, she's looking right over at me, man. Fuck off, rabbit. Sheriff and I will take a uh, oh, no. flank. We'll take oh, God. flank. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take left. Oh, no. There's a curtain over here. Stairs. Oh, my God. All the way behind you right there, too. This is fucking horrific. <laughs> oh, 
Fuck off, Hart. He's got a fucking pump shotgun, man. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. If you're inside, let us know. The one with the wood. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Yeah, yeah, let's just go. I've got your bag. I hear it. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. This is Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Watch your back there, Shaw. Yeah, I'm gonna get Pete. You guys woke me up. What the hell are you doing here? I'm coming out. Put your I'm hands up. I am armed. Hands up. You want my hands up? All right. Keep those hands up without anything in them, okay? You have nothing in my hand. Anyone with you, Pete? No. Because I know I just woke up. You sleep okay, with anyone Pete. up there? Alright, we're gonna get you to come to us. All come right, on down, Pete. Pete. Those hands up, we won't have any problems. Coming down. Staircase now. I see you, that's good. Slowly approach, no uh, no funny movements, okay? Right. This is so good, man. This is so Fuck. good. Just, uh, I, need Fuck. I didn't even hear you come in. We were yelling as loud as we could, and we... Oh my god, that kid shattered me. Kill us, save the five dollars, dude. It you, is uh, awesome. You live here? Not all the time, no. I'm staying here. They offered me a place to stay. You ain't seen any break right here? Mm, not today. I've seen him here you before, You know it's a crime though. to lie to a peace officer, yeah? Huh? Say again? You know it's a crime to lie to a peace officer, yes? Uh, I just woke up, miss. I ain't seen no one. There was no one else upstairs. Like I said, I just crawled out of bed or you guys are making a lot of noise, like you said. I'm just gonna disarm you very temporarily, okay? All right. We're all very tense at the moment. <sighs> what was your name again? Hey. This hey. is so much better than a shootout. <laughs> okay, hey. This is so tense, man. We're gonna be picking apart this building looking for your friends, Pete. Picking apart? I don't like the sound of that. If they are here, I highly recommend that you call them to come out so we don't gotta get violent. Uh I I'll give it a try. Hey! Right. <laughs> is there way else here? I think you might want to come out. There's a lot of old law officers down here. They got big ass guns. Leave when they go upstairs. There's no way that all of them are going upstairs at the same time, man. There's no way. All right, how are we securing this? We taking him outside? Uh, is he wanted? I got no clue. Is he one of the ones? One of the ones that you ran into, Bolton? Uh, n not that I can recognize. They were all masked up, though. I see. But there was a fourth though, so could Wait. be in. I don't know. No, there wasn't. There's only three of us. You just woke up, is that right? Mm-hmm. So after I saw you in Blackwater last, you'd gone to bed here and since woken up? Yeah, I was having a nap upstairs. Oh my god. Mm. I'm okay. dying. Dude, I'm I'm shit. You saw myself. me Blackwell? Where was that? <laughs> Are you not the one I'm thinking of? You must be someone else. Uh, I could not say. I do not believe. Well, I have been to Blackwater today, but that was quite a long time ago. Yeah, that was some hours ago. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's not illegal to take a nap. But I know for a fact that Edwin Braithwaite is somewhere within these walls here. I know that factual. Because unless he's learned how to disapparate into a puff of smoke, he's somewhere here. Oh, no, that's not good. Like I said, That's not I good. don't know. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to walk you outside, and I'm going to send you over to the sheriff's office, and you're going to wait there till we're done here. All right. That sound fair? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Why exactly do you need me to wait at the sheriff's office? You're not just sending me on my way. Am I in trouble? 
I'm not giving you your firearms back until we're done here. All right. Seem fair. Pete, there's no one else here, right? There's no, we're not gonna have any trouble. Well, I don't know. I shouted, no one answered. Lynn? Hey, Deputy Lynn, guess what? It's such a good- Lynn? I got such a good view of this, though. Deputy Lynn, we currently have six here. I need you to take this man here back to the Sheriff's office. Okay, sir. Wait, 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 wait. You okay. can just escort him. Okay. If, if you he's speaking truthful, he shouldn't bolt from you or nothing. So just escort him back there calmly. We got enough here. I so, ain't uh... no reason to bolt. You got my gun. <laughs> nah, it's cool. Bear. It's whatever. It's whatever. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Who cares? It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, folks. Looks like we are going on a ghost hunt for the remainder of this building. Oh, no. Damn, why these doors? I, I can hold down here. Myself uh, and Sheriffle. Okay. Okay. Rip. How many angles go further into this building? Because this place uh, looks like a labyrinth. Yeah, this is a... Oh my god. A ghost hunt? What about here? What's my alibi if they see me? I'll just sleep in here, right? This is where I area? sleep. Because uh, I'm traumatized by all the you cleared it? <laughs> we cleared back there. Uh, I was resting, man. So we got okay. upstairs for the... For the down this All hallway right. here. If y'all hold here, I'll take a shot to clear this hallway first over here, okay? Alright. Oh my god. Nice and easy. I hope it, I hope fucking Smokey streaming. I wanna know where he's hiding. God, I hate this. Sense across the sheriff's department. If you're in here, I suggest you make yourself known. He's not? Motherfucker. So it's just me then. I'm not a it smells like shit. Yeah. This place is gross. We're still clearing. Me and Davey. Alright. That's one clear. Do not ask me while I was drawn to the sign that said Avention Seema. Hey! Hey, rabbit, fuck off! This place is lovely, man. If I get the AFK thing come up on my screen, Kona, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Alright, northern corridor is clear. <laughs> hey! Holy we all good? shit. No, I don't know what no. they're eating, but they need to. Change to fucking vegetables. Jesus Christ. Is he All right, so we got shit for some what, this one over here. Yep, uh, and then the upstairs. Where's Rip? He's over there. That's the curtain. Okay, I see. All right, we'll uh, we'll take this room then. SCSD, if you are in here, I suggest you make yourself known. Look clear left. You can type the text bar to get AFK. Right. AFK. I hope so. That's my only option. All right, upstairs it That's is. That's empty. Oh. Yeah, it's just a dead end. There's no what? That's right. Stairs up there? It's a dead end. I don't see any stairs say. here, no. Okay. It's just so I know for, in case I try to, I don't know, find a way to flank because I don't know this place. Not that do I. I don't know it either. All right, upstairs we get. We definitely saw at least two figures in here, yes, before, through the floorboards. Uh, I... We saw one moving around, and he claims he just woke up, so I don't know. Right, okay. Ah, uh, stairs it is. Alright, is there four going up to staying down here? Yep. Okay. I, can I don't stay see here. Rip. Uh, yeah, me and Hart will stay. I don't see past the curtain. Rip, we're going up. Okay, alright. I'll call this an office up here. Brooks with me. SCSD, please make yourself known. Got several armed llamas with shotguns prowling these corridors. It will end poorly. Okay. This right. is epic. I could take him out right now, man. Nice stealthy stab. 
<laughs> Stealth check. More stairs. Don't do it. Of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying. Uh, did I mention any names to you? Uh, no. It was the um. Uh, there was a letter given to us. I guess Missy straight up gave a letter saying it was the dead kids. What? Smooth. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, the train conductors recognize him as well. So. Howdy. Those of you ahead of me suggest you uh talk to me. We're gonna be ahead of you. That's you? Oh god. Yeah. Okay, yeah, head up onto the stairs. You're coming up to us, yeah. Keep an eye out on the. Alright, uh, we got more stairs. SCSD, anybody in here make yourself known? You hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. What'd you say? You head up to the stairs there just in case I need immediate backup. Alright. Howdy. Uh, Got one here. Watch my back, please. Just up there. But, uh, okay, sir. Can you on, stand up? Don't nice move. and easy. Don't move. Right there in the corner. Right in front of us, sir. Ma'am? I found Missy. Okay, alright. Just stand back from me, please. Yeah, not, Ma get not, back not so Yeah, not I found so Missy. Close, please. You step Fuck. Back, please. Oh, no. That's... I'm in an unfamiliar situation. What's your name, mister? Howdy, Missy. Moving, calling out no. Folks. I see a bow. Inside, I'm responding to yeah, one. Okay. I found two. Right. Might have some shit upstairs. Maybe knocking some dust down. Don't panic. Perfect, so you want me on the stairs? Yeah, just, uh, just about there. We're coming down Where with someone. Alright, we got one. Surrender? Alright, you just go into the middle of the room with us here, okay? Yes. Yeah, I think Husky wasn't hiding. You got one here? But the, thing that, the thing is, when they finding Missy in that hiding spot is gonna make them look for hiding spots. Which is scary. Are these people we should be cuffing? This one here claims he's a hostage. What? Jonathan Stevenson? Jonathan Stevenson! He's a hostage? Good job, good job Husky. Jonathan Stevenson. That's a that's good name, man. You said that you came off the train, right? <laughs> he Let's had see. he had 20 minutes to come up with a fake name and he comes up with Jonathan Stevenson. <laughs> Which one was it? No way Jonathan Stevenson's a real name. So he's got <laughs> Randall Long Johnson. Okay. You ain't seen Eddie since? I got my Stevie now. <laughs> and who's that in there? Missy. That's Missy. Missy. So you were on the train as well? Was she on the train? The lady in there? Missy, uh, shacking up with someone else up there? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, what? Missy shacking up with this giant. Oh, I, I, I heard you say it. <laughs> no shacking. No, yeah. Paraglyph, think of the T1 sub, dude. I, I don't know what's going on. Riled up, I'll definitely throw that in his face now. Oh, Jonathan Stevenson is. What circumstances? This, this motherfucker, is being dude. A bizarre breach in plan. One person in custody. This is Mr. Stevenson. He uh, claims to have been a hostage. Uh, so. 
Two and three all names, Jonathan Stevenson. Your, your family make long johns. Never mind. Are you okay, yeah. sir? You unharmed? Feel free to take one of these seats. Yeah. Oh, God. You searched him already, Shaw? Yep, he had a skull field and not, oh, God. Uh, not in his holster, just in his bag. He claims he got it uh, from He's the He's sitting right there. After he got robbed on the train. You need nothing to eat or drink, sir. Uh, Bolton, Hart, if I can just get you just one second. Yes. Hold oh. it in. They're whispering, man. I don't like this. Where's Missy, man? No? Well, uh, we can proceed with uh, the clearing of uh, upper floors. And uh, Rip and Brooks are on the mid floor with uh, in the office with uh, the other. And uh, we'll, we'll take another spin looking for the others. All right. Oh my god, fuck off, heart. I got on the train for the time I've only been here a few weeks. I was going around and then at some point after some a bunch of horses rode up. We were all robbed. Told to sit by, by him and we walked back. Two of your officers were there. They'd taken my gold watch as I bought just yesterday for Robert Ziggwood. Then myself, uh, and two of your officers, and a woman named Scout, were walking along the train tracks. They found one of your horses they must have left. I did a robbery. They told us to get back on and send a telegram. So we went back into town. Uh, we sent, uh, we went over to the law department. She told me she was sending the telegram. We saw one of the conductors there who was hurt. And then we went to the medical office. I dropped this young lady off. I went to the bank to get my firearm. And then as I rode towards the stable to drop the horse back off, uh, the uh, young man, apparently Eddie, approached. Uh, it was on somebody's horse. Maybe he recognized me. Maybe he saw me. Sent me a telegram. Well, assuming I did here? and brought me over here. I was supposed to scare me, but I, I'm not sure. Then not soon after, he was screaming that the law is here and told me to get up in the side, sit there, and if I say a word, they were going to kill me. Who's they, man? Uh, you're not from San Denis, right? No, I am not. He's I've only been here a few weeks. The They're not gonna leave. Come from, if you don't mind me asking. They're not gonna leave, man. I'm from England. I do. Originally, I spent many years over, yeah, overseas, other places, there. but originally England. What you call it, the curtain, right? Back downstairs? I've been quite, quite far. Uh, did they hurt you when you were here? I'm a little no, no, just, no, you know, a little shaken, a little older, it's anything, dark. any damage was just my it's own nerves of bumping into things, that sort of thing. They did leave my, take my, make me take my clothes off, or well, not my clothes, but <laughs> uh, my jacket and whatnot so they could search. It's a cell? And in the, uh, in the train, they, they didn't take your weapon from me there? No, I got it from the bank afterwards. As I said, because I was robbed, and I thought it might be useful for protection. Ladder. I have like to use that, that uh... Oh! That weapon much back in England. Oh no, he's I gonna call- I have shot a guy a time there? or two. Leave! Miss? Leave! She might call Miss him Husky. Penny. Get out of here. Oh, there you go. Okay, she's gone. So, uh... Have yeah, shot? Sure. Well, to me, it sounds like you might have had some malicious intentions. You went and got uh, yourself a weapon, maybe you're after some revenge? I am Strange. not you foolish. Ended... Sir, I, you give me far too much credit. I am not foolish enough to go after a gang of bank robbers myself. Or train robbers, my apologies. 
He's facing me on purpose. Dude, he's facing him on the chair. I don't want to go down there. And uh, exhausted every other opportunity. So let's what check did they take the after you on the track? It's a gold pocket watch and about thirty-five dollars. I reported it to a Deputy CeeLo. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the plan on me. You see, I, I got my opinion on this group, but I don't think they would have left a gun on you. Well, I already told you. But what do you mean when I, once I arrived here? Yeah, you had a gun and it was taken off you by a member of my department, right? Yes. So they left a gun on you and a knife. But it wasn't long before I got in here before you arrived. And they uh, told me quickly to put it away and sit there. Who did? Eddie. Where's he hidden up there then? I have no idea where he is. Oh my Who God. else was here? Uh, that young lady. Why was her and name? And the, um... The, um, what was it? The guy with... The, he has a very high-pitched voice. Motherfucker! I know, you tell me. I, I don't know his name. I've only just got in here against my will. Someone tried to come in? Uh, Penny. Who's Penny? Dun, dun, dun. Dude, they don't know we're all... Shit! Uh, you, uh... Hope that fixes it. You know what time a horse you were brought here on? Oh my god. No, it was a, um... It's kind of brown, patches and white. I'm not sure of the horse breed. I don't know too well. Fine steed, though. And what do you think their intentions were? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know them very well, but if it was to scare me, it worked. They after any particular information, did they seem nervous about something? No, no. They really just seemed quite angry, but perhaps did. agitated. I would just assume it was my presence. Love you, my man. What's up? I know for a fact that there's a Braithwaite in this building. <laughs> pressed into the floorboards or hiding on top of something. So I'm gonna do another look. Oh god. I'm fucked. Yes, I'm sorry. Are you told me to say I'm so fucked. I really don't know yeah. what he did. Sorry. Gosh. Of course not. How many were in here when you came in? Uh, it was him, the one with the high pitch voice, and the uh, young lady. Alright. <sighs> Thank you, Eddie. Who's out there? Oh, well, well. Who's out where now, sir? That's the law. Yeah, it's the law. Any sacrificing Howdy. for me, man. Right. You wanna come for me? You gotta come for me, all right? I got hostages all over this goddamn place. You wanna take me in? You gotta, you know. Oh, oh my god. Ferret you out? Oh my god, Eddie. Right, that's right. Eddie. Oh, Jesus oh, fucking go, Christ. Oh my god. Come on now. Eddie, what the fuck? I think they were warning it's shots. It's somewhere that way, I think. So you stay with me, okay? You stay behind me, you don't move. Yeah, what house did you got there with you, Eddie? I got some old geezer. I got a bunch of other people, too. Who is looking for I got... I got, like, two people. Like another one. Hey, don't make no goddamn move. I ain't fucking around. We'll head out. Now let's talk about negotiations. Let's negotiate. Dude, my water's okay, running out. Yeah. You coming out? You're coming. You're coming out where? Coming you're out of where? Downstairs. Upstairs. You're up all the way upstairs. That's right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna meet you on the top platform. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh, he's coming! <laughs> he's right! Oh, <gasps> go Eddie! Go Eddie! All right, I'm at the top of the stairs. What's our negotiation, Eddie? What do you want? You gotta I'm have some much are you, all right? Eddie? 
I think he ran out, Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff, Sheriff Hart ran out. Yeah, Sheriff Hart ran out, out, out after someone. I don't know who. I didn't see anybody. Okay. Yep. Let's Stop. secure what we've got here. He might have jumped down. I don't know this place well enough to know where. Don't yeah, there's a... Dude, I need water. I, I was... Um, I want to run, but because of the water, I'm scared that I'm going to jump up and I'm going to fucking slow walk. My heart's fucking racing, man. I think Eddie fucked up hard out there. I would go chase after Sheriff Hart. He went out. I've got, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got this gentleman. Yeah. Okay. If, if he sh if he has shot Hart, that might be enough distraction for him to leave. Oh my god. They didn't hurt you, did they? No, no, no. Like I said, I wasn't here that long. We're alert to your presence. Okay. I'm not gonna whistle, man. If I, if I oh, whistle, we're fucked. Uh, yeah, what are we gonna do yeah. with this gentleman? I think Bolton still got him. Yes, I've got this gentleman here. I got no idea what's we going on outside, separate. man. Yeah, let's do that. Is he uh, uh, currently detained now, then? I'm gonna keep him detained until we're done. Don't okay. come up here. Don't come up here. Don't come up here. Oh my god. Alright. On your feet, sir. Leave. Please leave. We're gonna be taking you to the sheriff's office. Yes. Go. Go, 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 go. I want a statement in fall. I'll head out first. Y'all head out in about a minute. You should be clear. All right. Got me in here, sir. Stay here. We're not out of the woods yet. No, we're not. Patience, patience, patience. Can you get up on this? Why the fuck are they- Stop thing. investigating! Okay. Stop searching, okay. man! The entire building's clear? Yep. As far as we know. Please go. Please go. It's the last three of us? Yeah, it is. Yep. Moving yet? I'm waiting, man. Who's that with a gun? Charles Morgan? Who is that? You have to break them out? No, man, no, no. You think I'm gonna make fucking law search for us for half an hour and then just fucking cuck them at the end and, and, and save them? No, 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 no. They got, they got them, they found them, that's it. I need a fucking drink, man. That's Charles Morgan, okay. I think they're gone. Are you sure? No. Fucking dickheads went past me so many fucking times. Where are you? I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'll try and jump up. Just come over come here. Back to the front just come door. down here. Just come down here.
What's up there? Holy shit. That was close. Oh, you fucking close. Oh shit, my fucking pants. Oh, you're, you're telling me. <laughs> It's gonna take them a couple minutes to leave, but I don't think they're gonna hang around for long. They got people to arrest and shit, so it's probably safe to get out of here. Come on. I think we should wait a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. They'll be yeah. waiting for us to come out. Just fucking wait. Just wait. Listen, if they come through that door. We're blasting. <clears throat> Alright. I think you go first. They're not after you. If no one's right. there, come What back. I'll do? If I see them there, I'll just put my hands up, okay? Yeah. If I don't see you walk back in, I know they're out there. All right. Oh! All right. Let's enter negotiations. What the what do you mean, what the fuck? Put your fucking no, hands no, up now. Hey, 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 no. back up. Wallaby. We got a big old no. hostage down. No. He's a sheriff. Don't. Don't. You don't want to do this. You got two guns on you, and Rip. we got a big old hostage with a sheriff. Rip, don't. I just want the sheriff. <laughs> All right, well, we want to get out of here. <laughs> Why don't you just fucking leave? We were about Stop to. It. Stop hey, 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 Get the fuck out. I'll, I'll talk to Rip. Go. I can't leave Rip in here alone. Then I'll fucking... gonna stay to my side, Wildly. We'll talk. Fucking damn it. Put him down. Just leave him down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stay this into this just... corner over here. Now. Are you fucking kidding me? Get down. Why Get is down he cussed for? We, he's not even fucking one of us. Get down. You're letting us go, right? Okay. This, is, this is bullshit. Can't get damn, miss. I can't. God damn it, Eddie! You must have been hiding real good in here, huh? What are you talking about? I was here the whole time. You right behind the door where us. you are right now. You didn't even talk to us. Why well, would I talk to you? you? You kept on talking about how you're gonna fucking be violent. I, I, I feel like I'm in a dangerous situation. How many are outside? Get on the ground. It's us two. All right. Well, you're going to let us go, and you can have hard. I'm having trouble getting on the ground. Deal? What's your name? Hey, my name's Reginald. Reginald DuPont. I was on the train. Get out of here. What's Reginald the status? DuPont. He's going to go. No, right. no, we're both going. I'm going to make sure no, that the both, hostage... No, Reginald, we're both going go. to go. We're both going to go, and you today. can have the show. God damn it, man. Just get Shut out of here. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get out. No, you're going to listen to me. Get out of here, man. the sheriff. I'm gonna make sure that this hostage ain't go. No, come on. What are you doing? Wallaby, you, you, put him down. I put him down. Gonna, Wallaby, you're gonna, you're gonna put him down. Back up. If you fucking shoot, you're gonna shoot your own fucking no. sheriff. Back up. Go into back that up. room. Don't you hit me. Into Don't you fucking push me. Go back into up. that room. I'll drop Wallaby, the put him down. Put him down put him now. Are you gonna listen to me? Or are you gonna fucking Yes, I'm listening to you. I'm put, I'm asking you put him down now. No, you're demanding. That's not fucking asking. You're gonna go in that room. you loud and clear. You're gonna go in that room. I'm gonna drop the sheriff and walk out the fucking door. Edwin, move away from the deputy. Back away. Go into the room with him. I'll drop the sheriff at the door. Don't you fucking move until we're out of here. Got it? Put him down on the floor. I'll put him down now. Do not move. Do not move. Eddie, go. Now, now, now. Go, go. Both of you get the fuck out. Eddie, where are you? Eddie! Fuck! Oh, 
Oh, God. Wall, 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 wall. He must be going mid. Fuck! Is that him? Who's that? Pixie, how'd you, how'd you get free? They didn't cuff you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. We're in a lot of trouble. Well, We're in a lot yeah. of trouble. I have a confession to make. I fucking know what you did. Why? Because Wallaby. Because you want you me want in jail? No, this is what you've always wanted, to be famous. And then as soon as this ugly old person comes in, now you don't want it anymore. Come on, lag. Fuck off. It's not about that. Well, I'm not gonna let him take over our group. We built this group together. We started you went my in back. Sisica. You went behind my back, you, though. You, me, and Bob. You went behind my back. He here didn't defend me when he pulled a gun on me. What the fuck is that? Is that Charles? Yeah. Hey, Charles. Yes. by the Dylan gang. Yeah, well, we're fucked. What do you mean? Well, we've done Eddie shot a fucking sheriff and he looks fucking... Eddie shot a sheriff and he looks fucking dead. We're fucked. Okay, so, I'm sorry, is it my fault that Eddie shot a sheriff? No, but they wouldn't be in the fucking clubhouse if they didn't know it was us. So you don't want people to know we're doing Pixie, things the other reason was at the we should just. We should the just only reason why I was at the shadows. The only reason why we went to the slaughterhouse because I thought we were fucking safe to be there. If I had known that they knew, I wouldn't have hid there. They cornered us. Oh, well, you didn't tell me. Well, I didn't have a chance to tell you because you're all about husky now. No, no, you were too busy hiding in the fucking corner while Eddie was interrogating me. I don't know why he did that. I didn't ask him to do that. That's what you think. Come on, Charles. Fuck. Charles, come on! Stupid husky. She just told the wall about him. I had a fucking plan. I had a fucking plan. Yeah, well, it's not like you're sharing your plans with me, so I have to make plans on my own. Really? Really? That's what you're gonna yeah. say? So it's mm -hmm. okay for you to yeah. hide shit from me, but if I hide something from you... I was gonna tell you. I even told Eddie I was the gonna fact. tell you. After the fucking fact. Yeah, because you've been so mad. Then why'd you do it then? Because, Wobie, we don't hide our crimes. It's different now with the LJ thing. I fucking told you that. I feel like you're using that as an excuse. You just want to show off what you can do to the stupid husky person who doesn't deserve your appreciation anyway. You have no idea what you're fucking talking about. He deserves none of this. You don't know what you're fucking talking about. He should not be involved in this at all. Sheriff isn't fucking dead. They took Pete, they took Husky. 
Good, they can keep Husky. Well, I had a fucking plan. Well, what was your plan? Don't worry, it's fucked now, don't worry about it. You never share your plans, Evil. Next time I'll tell you in front of the whole group. Oh, okay. Or maybe during Do you want me job. to tell you? Do you want me to tell you what I'm doing during the job, too? Do I want you to tell me oh, that, hey, oh, being at the... Or in front of the whole group? You know what? It goes both ways. No, it fucking you. doesn't. Yes, it does. You are wrong. If I had known that the Lord knew it was us, I wouldn't have put us in the fucking slaughterhouse. We wouldn't have been boxed in there like that. I'm okay Ella, with P I'm okay with it if I know. Window, you would know that. No, you put us in harm's way. That's what you fucking did. They could have come in. They already said. You left me in harm's way when he pointed a fucking gun at me. This is bullshit. People in that building thought that was safe. The law came in and said they're gonna take our science as act of violence and they're gonna shoot us when they see us. The only reason why we're in that situation is because they knew it was us. They shouldn't have known it was us. I want him out of the building. I want him. And that's how you go about it. That's how you go about it. We don't. You know the only reason we hit ourselves is because he said that we are not allowed to show our faces. We don't you undermine each other. We don't undermine you each other. Make excuses that don't make sense, Wallaby. Well, if you're so if, if you're so proud, then why don't you say it to her face in front of me instead of hiding and sneaking her a note? I whispered in and snuck her a note because he was on the fucking train, Wallaby. No, no, I saw when you were talking to her when she was on the carriage. It was just me, you, and Ed. He. Stalk me throughout that entire fucking twain. Trust me and try to find a window. You undermined us. I undermined him. No, you undermined us. He wasn't even on the fucking job. They're not even there to arrest him. Undermine. They're not even there to arrest him. He'll walk out scot fucking free. The only person that's gonna get fucked over here is us and Eddie, who now shot a fucking sheriff that can die. Husky has zero fucking charges. Husky's the only reason we're in this situation. You, under you, you undermined me. us. You undermined me, and you didn't fucking tell me what you were doing. You didn't tell me what you were doing. What I'm doing wasn't gonna get you fucking shot. Oh, are you sure about that? Because you held a fucking gun in my face. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's just do, like, the wallaby thing, right? Yeah, the wallaby thing. Yeah. Like, hey. What's, what is the wallaby did, thing, Did you know the law gonna change it again? Are you did gonna you follow know, exactly you... everything that he says? Did you know that law were gonna come and get us? No. So when you, when you told the conductor, you didn't think she'd tell law? You had us all in I'm that room, sure. and you knew that the law were gonna come for us. You knew that. We're going out west. Um, I'm coming back to the clubhouse whenever he's leaving. Where are you going? Far away from Husky. We're going out west. Come on. D7. Oh my fucking god. I know that, but we're aware. Do, do you understand the difference between, hey, we robbed a bank, we know that law's gonna come, so we're all ready, and everyone's on the same page of the danger, and, you know, not knowing, and not being prepared, and not being, you know, ready for it, and not everyone in the building being okay with it? There's a big difference, DSM. Huge difference.
rabbit is pissed, by the way. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We need to get dressed. Got a strawberry. How slow is his fucking horse? Let me... I'm gonna send a telegram. <laughs> Got a little job for you. <laughs> I'm waiting at your place now. <laughs> when was this? 10.24 No, oh yeah, yeah, never mind Ah uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking talk to him later, hold on Eddie WZ826 Send that to Wallaby. No, sorry, sorry. So that's Eddie. I'm fucking confused. Davey, thank you for the raid, by the way, dude. I don't know if you're still here. Um, who else? I got a telegram. Sneaky Pete got away. I think he should be fine. Okay. Cesari. Wallaby. Small problem. Not going to be out east for a bit. I'm interested in the job, however. Will be out west if you need me. My horse is completely fucked, so where do you want to meet? We go on strawberry to get dressed and then head in a tumbleweed. Yeah. Alright. Whew! This has been a wild fucking stream, man. Loving it, though. I feel like he went back in. Yes, yeah, so do I, man. I think he went back in too. I think he went back in too. He might have thought that I was going to stay behind. So he came back. Think of the 10 months. Ten, I know, right? Time fucking flies. Feeds me well, holy smokes, 10 months. Alright, you go first. Oh, I think that's the chick I fucking robbed. I'm dressed different, she shouldn't know me. Disappointed. They got a gun store here, did you know that? This shit requires getting your people in line. This kind of yeah, right in the bank of the general store is the gun store. You can go buy weapons if you do from not put an end things. to this right now, you will find more go the way uh -huh. of this LJ. I also yeah. truly hope the young lady does a better job of keeping her mouth shut with the law than she did on the train. 
Howdy. Hello. Is that more? A giant people actually don't, don't, have it. No, they don't. Maybe you just gotta yell a little bit. They were not I think yelling like the air. I think they are coming in from riding real hard on their horse. That's definitely lore. Shit. Hello. Fuck off. <laughs> Some people are very wanted. Lady alone. I can't, did I, I haven't got time to make an outfit. We're just going to have to go this. Fuck it. How many you so far, Harry? Come on. Well, have a fun day, Mr. Be safe. Thank you, you too. Exactly like Missy, man. What a disguise. You miss Baz? Well, lucky for you, man. Uh, there's I got like 50 videos that are all like four or five hours long on YouTube. They're all up there, man. We're not out of the woods yet, man. DJ and looking for new good content. Well, I think this is the best RP server in the world, man, so I would highly recommend. Dude, the, the RP at the moment, the story that we're telling here on Wallaby right now is the best that I think it's been. He's fucking fire at the moment. how I sent Charles Morgan out and he comes back with cuffs on. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So he knows where we're going. What did, what did, what was the condition? Skin is very pale. You don't think he died, do you? Fuck, what if he died? I do love how Husky shows up and everything's just falling apart. Everything's just falling apart. Perfect. This is perfect, perfect, perfect. from Husky said he'd help LJ if the group doesn't get better, right? No, 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 that's not what he said. 
He says if if we if I don't stop the insubordination, that we'd have another LJ situation. Can Wallaby not accept that this is all happening because Husky? Yes, which is why he slipped the name to Ed. He's still scared of him, but he's he's trying to work out a way how to get rid of him. Without having to confront him. Because he's scared of him. He's traumatized by him. This comes from a guy who stitched on the descriptions. Yeah, but he doesn't know that I heard that. Why'd you throw your hat? Because it's recognizable. I mean, we're, 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 we are recognizable anyway. But that blue outfit, I mean, we're just wearing that with law. They're, they're definitely going to have that description, what I was wearing. I think the RP right now with the whole Husky story is amazing. I don't know why anyone would want to end it as quick as possible. Do, do something like this again? I mean, do something. Like, what do you mean? What does that mean? I got a feeling Eddie ran back in and got fucking caught, dude. Or he ran back in and shot the one of the deputies. I I, I got no idea. I have a bad feeling though. <clears throat> I see so he was not outside. He wasn't outside. He didn't reply to my yelling. Sacrifice himself for me? Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. He seemed determined to uh, stay behind. I had a feeling that he lit hard up, dude. I had a. As soon as Hart ran out and Bolton didn't go in with him, I, I knew that Eddie wouldn't hesitate, dude. I had a bad feeling. Who is Husky the Wallaby? He's the uh, guy that um, recruited Wallaby and his brother back in Australia. He was the leader of the gang. He's the guy that murdered Wallaby's bro, Joey, right in front of him. The one man Wallaby's scared of. That's the best way of putting it.
going. Where are we going? Well, five months left to go. Mommy, where are we going? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Autopilot. <laughs> Why did the horse do that? That was weird. We Tumbleweed. I already said that. LJ's on the back burner right now, which is good. We planted a seed, so he's got some RP there. And we'll continue to plant seeds. In the meantime, we've got to, have, we've got to get rid of Husky at some point, hopefully, without having anyone killed. That's Charles Morgan behind us. You're gonna have to start giving me some answers. About what? You're not wanted. What are you fucking worried about? They uncuffed you, let you go. So what's the fucking problem? They actually fucking give a shit, Wallaby. About what? My well-being? Eggsy who? You have no idea what I'm going through right now. You probably don't give a shit either, but I just buried my wife yesterday. Brittany's now taken officially. I'm not going to lose another person, so I'm fucking here right now, so you can fucking appreciate it. My number one concern is to protect you right now because I can't protect her. If she fucking dies, Wallaby, this whole place will fucking burn. You know who took him? His name is Lyle. That's all I have. Lyle? Not Lancaster. Uh. My wife was found walking from here to black water, completely sunburnt, 20 cuts to her body, and her mouth glued shut. Yes, I think my daughter's in trouble. 
from out here. I don't know. Don't worry about it. You've got more pressing things to worry about. I've got other people on it. Well, this is why we got to stay out of Sissica. We'll, we'll help you, okay? You just concentrate on what you're doing. I'm here to protect you. I'm sorry about your I'm not going to lose you. Don't worry. It wasn't a real marriage. It was arranged by the government, so she was just collateral. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Be real with me, Wallaby. No. Who is Husky? I share, you share. Go too far. Oh shit. Oh fuck, that's law.
fuck. Local? I can't leave Missy and Charles there, man. I gotta go. I gotta go in there. Dude, I can't leave them in there by themselves. The other guy, the other lawman, did you go inside? He's, he's right there. They're coming up with a plan, I think. Here? Could I have gotten away? Oh my god! locked out. Shit. I could have just stood there. Okay, my horse is fight. I gotta feed my horse. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How the fuck did I get out of that then? Did Maple not see me? This is sus, man. There's no way he didn't see me. Maybe they're on the roof? Nah, I think they've left, man. I think when I left, they they assumed I was logging out and left. Oh god! God damn it, horse! Rocks. Cacti. 
hot up here. I'm trying to find a camp out here. That was, uh, that was nervous. <sighs> the song again? <laughs> yeah, I don't even need to play that. Okay. All right, wait, I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> Fuck. Ah, uh, dude. Do I log out? Like, I don't know. I feel... I'm, I'm gonna end my stream so I can have some fucking lunch, but I'm, I might stay on for another 20 minutes before I log out. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> Let me sing you to someone. Hold on. That was fucking scary, man. That was fucking scary. Uh, let's go... Let's sing you to... Um, let's go, okay, let's, let's, let's raid this person. Okay. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, that was, that was, that was an interesting day. I mean, everything is getting fucking heated up over here, man. This fucking story is getting intense. And I kind of like it. I kind of like where it's headed. I love where it's headed, actually. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be nice. Be kind. Uh, give him a follow. Send him my love. And um, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Peace. Bye.